fancy Mexican pizza. Perhaps the greatest Final Fantasy hero ever created in Final Fantasy. He's uh, She's up there, top of the billet. It goes... <laughs> it's very funny watching the, the people talk <laughs> to your character. They all say, good job, Mexican. All right. Playing FF14 with... With question mark. But then I'll come watch NPCs call me a Mexican in a very serious story. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there we go. I have to set up everything so I know everything's alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, all good. I'll bring in Mexican pizza. Log in with Mexican pizza. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part, where we sit back and get it through. I'm at uh, level 30. I have to power through the story because uh, nobody told me that getting a chocobo was story locked. So I thought that if I just uh, <laughs> grinded my way to level 20, I could get a chocobo. And then I'd be able to start the game off with a chocobo. And then I reached level 20, I said, where the hell is my chocobo? And then I looked it up. <laughs> And I saw, you have to complete the story, and I looked at how much story I had to go through, and I went, shit! <laughs> so sad. So sad. Alright, let's... I was also happy to see that I was not kicked out of stand. I had assumed that I had been kicked out. But no, oh, you no. believed in Mexican, Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza is allowed to stay. Oh, Perfect. Perfect. It lets me know that there's a home for the Mexican pizza. <laughs> no matter where it may go, it will return. There we go. Uh, is there a way to stop it from the game to constantly just always put those up there for me? If there is, I don't know how. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's not good. I have to change this. System. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, that, no, leave, no, no, go away, okay, system, uh, I forget which one of the many things on here is the thing that makes me, HUD layout? No, that's <laughs> not the thing, there's a way to, character configuration, there we go, um, perfect, you have to change it to, it back to a controller, yep. Okay. Yep, 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 okay, and, um, because I've been playing on the Steam Deck, this completely forgot all of my little commands here, so all my setups are gone, so now let me <laughs> find my damn character things. There we go. There we go, okay, let's see. Okay, I have to press X on here, correct? I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, so this does not actually say X for me at all. Uh, okay, true thrust is in the right place, the forpal thrust is in the right place, uh, this, this can go here, full thrust, very important, I'm gonna need that there, I think I ended up putting disembowel, um, up here, that means I have to find a new place for what, what the hell up was it up. Oh, jump! There you go, jump! That was the new thing I unlocked when I became a Dragoon. So... Go up here... And that'll be fine! I don't think I need any of these other skills. I don't think I use any of these other ones at all. Let me just do a double- That's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I use these. Let me see, leg sweep, I occasionally use that, so I'll put that there. I think faints, I occasionally use. So, I'll put that down there. Arm's length, never used it really, but I'm going to put it up here. As you can see, Zen, nothing but pure professionalism. Now, oh man, do I have to fucking set something for my chocobo? They did, god damn it. They really have decided to make this as difficult as possible for me. Now, where can I find my chocobo companion? Is it companions? No. Uh, your my chocobo mount, is mount guide. His companion, yeah. Oh, oh, to ride it. Yeah, you can't yeah. ride it in a city. I know, I know. I just need to add it to my, um... Oh, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. This is the perfect kit. Right here. We have my full Lancer stuff and the ability to summon my Chocobo. Okay. 
now let's see. I have to now do the story thing. Where am I going? Speak with Tartori in the back of the woods. I think I'm right there, aren't I? I'm nowhere close to this, am I correct? I have to go back to here. God damn it, okay. Teleportation time. Oh yeah, baby. Good thing they give you non-stop gill in this game. Uh, it's been very useful for me. <laughs> because otherwise I would be completely lost and not know where to go anywhere. Because I've been lost multiple times already. Alright, now I can summon my chocobo, right? Yeah, here's me and Baja Blast. The number one combo <laughs> at Taco Bell for you. Uh, this game has gotten uh, ten times better now that I can just summon a chocobo. I'm living my true yeah, life here. Yeah, eventually they can fly, too. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Dun, dun, Not yet, dun, though. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Let's go off. Now, if I remember right, I've just been focusing on Dragoon for now. I actually don't know when is the best time to potentially look into some of the other stuff. Do you know? Is it a thing of, like, do you only really hyper-focus on one thing, or is it, like, just whenever you feel like it, go do the other things? Like other classes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just when you want to, basically. Okay. Uh, most people recommend sticking with two through story mm. mode, because you get enough experience points to raise up two. Uh-huh. Um, but it's really, if you just like one, just play one. If you like a bunch, play them all. Alright. Interesting. I'm in here now. Later. Oh wait, I think I have to talk to you. Well, this is my favorite. Oh, I was really hoping she was going to say Mexican. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Mexican! There you go! My favorite adventurer. Mm. Okay. Go in here, hang out with all the other dudes that are also <laughs> getting ready to hang out with this person in here. As these dudes talk to me. Uh... Yeah, that's right. I recently helped some plant people with their stuff, I think. I think I have a, a sort of understanding about what's going on here. I think I'm trying to help people. Is that a fair assumption of what's happening in that a realm is reborn? Generally correct, yeah. Yeah. There are people, uh, mon like okay, well, monsters is, is a mean way to put it because that's, that's, that's a little racist. But uh, <laughs> beastmen uh, and animal people mm -hmm. are summoning their gods, and their gods take a lot of ether to summon. And ether is like what keeps the planet alive. So it, yeah. basically, they're they're accidentally committing eco terrorism, even not and really knowing that to, they're doing it. Yeah. Well, either that or they just don't care. One of the two. I don't remember which one it is. But uh, mm. you have to go kill their gods over and over again every time they summon them. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> um, so that's how you're able to just run nonstop dungeons for Ifrit? Is that they just know that they're, this well, thing just keeps being summoned? there's three difficulties for Ifrit, so lore-wise, they summon him three times. Oh, but. really? Interesting. Okay. And these dudes are uh, shadow people who help the government, or something like that. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are yeah. an independent organization that handles this stuff. They they help all of the governments, but they aren't loyal to any of them. Okay, got you. Alright. It, it, uh, it does help to have a small refresher, because there was a, a good two-year gap. A one to two year gap from the when I started the story <laughs> to where I'm picking up now. So when I started I'm it, your, uh, it's good to see you <laughs> again, Mexican. <laughs> oh, that's every like middle aged white dude outside of the Home Depot. One hundred percent. That's right. I've returned. They clap. It, it's really funny because again, a lot of these um statements are meant to be like oh man you did so good but it's so sound so so condescending when they call you mexican every single time yeah well the you know framing is everything <laughs> exactly <laughs> the saga of the leviathan i can take down leviathan i think
Yeah, and, I, and do any of these dudes seem to be able to fight? Because I think some of them have fought with me, but it seems like I'm doing most of the heavy lifting here. They can fight, yeah. Okay. There was one dude who was, like, really down on himself. He's like, man, I could have done better. Idiot. I'm such a fool. Stupid. And they're like, don't be so hard on yourself. And then he just was, like, under his breath, like, you don't understand. I'm a complete moron. Waste of space. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> I was like, you're being a little hard on yourself, buddy. I handled it for it by myself. It wasn't that word. It wasn't that bad. It helps that I'm over leveled at this point. By like, I think a good five or so levels. Yeah, it's hard not to get over leveled because they when they did the Realm Reborn Crunch, mm -hmm. uh, they put a ton of EXP in there so that you can level up quickly and like not have to grind at all. Uh, so the end result is that you end up getting super over leveled instead. That's hilarious. Yeah, that that's ended up happening a whole bunch where now I'm just like crazy over leveled pretty easily. That's fine. That just meant I could get Dragoon faster. And I can start jumping at dudes. Which is all I really want to do in life. <laughs> just leap on dudes? Yeah. I mean, uh, Kane was my favorite character to play as in uh, Final Fantasy IV. Because he just, yeah, like, fucking left, left off screen and then just would come back. Biggs and Wedge. Yeah, if you, uh, if you hold... Do you have your idle stance set so that, like, when you have your weapon out, you do a pose? I don't think so. Uh, when you set that, uh, it's Kane's pose if you're a boy. If you're a girl lancer... I don't remember what girl lancers do. I think Man. you, like, put the lance on the ground and, like, lean on it or something. Dude lancers just do the Kane pose. Man... This is, again, sexism hitting hard here. I think women should be allowed to co pose up like Kane. Yeah, I don't really know why they have gender-locked poses. I think everyone should just be able to do whichever poses that they want to do. I agree. Is there something else Mexican? There always is. I can't talk with this shit over my face. <laughs> <laughs> so it really makes it seem like I'm Kenny, and she's like, what? <laughs> no way, man with the red mask. Go find a Mexican. Go. Oh no, someone's attacking Tar Tartar Tartar's last? No, Tartaru. Tartaru, there you go. I see ta I saw I saw Ta and I just assumed Tartarus because I have the Persona 3 on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, look, there's the plant dudes. They, like, wanted me to dance at them. A sylph, okay. <laughs> That's me, the walking one Mexican. <laughs> You've never seen a more walking this Mexican than me. Aw, see, now the the plant people, they want peace now. I don't remember- were there always plant people in Final Fantasy? Or is yeah, this a well, 14, like, original- Yes and no, it depends on the game. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. Alright. Done here. Back to the Solar. And back to- Wherever this person is at the moment. I should have probably checked before I left the office. Okay, no, apparently I just go back inside the office. Yep. A lot of that. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, MMOing going on in this MMO game. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of... A lot of go outside, talk, go back inside. A lot of, oh man, I can't wait for this new quest. What do you want me to do? It's like, kill three of this. It's like, okay, and then I come back and it's like, complete, you did it, quest complete. Oh my god, thank you. The Shadow of Darkness. Alright, let's go investigate whatever she wants me to. She's the boss lady. Minophilia. I'm afraid there is no rest for the weary Mexican, you're correct. I've never agreed with something more. <laughs> a statement more true has never been said. I really hope nobody is taking offense to this. I'm so sorry. I made my I didn't know that they would call me Mexican throughout the entire thing. But it is really funny. 
<laughs> but it makes certain story quests a little bit it silly. Makes it so stupid. <laughs> It does. Oh my god. It's a shame because I thought like, oh, obviously other people are going to have silly names like me. No one does on this server. I'm the only one with like a silly name. The worst is I think I saw Snow White one time who was a part of the Disney Guild and that was the closest I ever saw to someone silly. Everyone else seems to be taking it fairly serious. That's right, Grand Company. I went with the Immortal Flames dudes because that guy had like a the, the little princess on his shoulder. And I said he seems like an okay guy, and he says a lot about <laughs> war. I'll join up with them. You know, you know, he's always ready. Yeah, exactly. Be safe, Mexican. You got it. Quest accepted. All right, let's see. It's really funny reading this dialogue and just picturing it all coming from like old white people. <laughs> if this was voice, it'd be next level, honestly. Uh, I have to go all the way back to here, old Dane. It's okay. It's 163 guild. Excuse me as I just teleport in your office. Zoom. Back to Ulda. I, I, I was actually kind of surprised that it wasn't fully voiced, and then I remembered this came out during, like, the PS4 era, so... And they were really looking to save a lot of cost, I would assume, when they were completely fixing the game, so... Understandable that not every single thing is voiced. <laughs> I think it's fair. It was a little dire at release. Alright. Oh god, there's so many people here. Alright, swift. Tell me what to do now. Tell me where I need to go. Fate is a cruel mistress. You got it. Go find the other guy. Where is the other guy? Whoop. In the shadow of darkness. Uh back to Camp Drybone. Zoom. When I don't actually have the ability to teleport somewhere, it takes so long to find where the hell I'm supposed to go. Uh -huh. uh, it doesn't help that I have a bunch of quests, so those quests really block my view on absolutely everything. Alright. How the hell do I get out of here? There we go. I remembered. I also remember spending a whole bunch of time in here. But no longer. No more. No more. When I was here, I was just a simple Mexican pizza. I've evolved since then. No longer afraid of these Tuco Tucos. Alright, let's see. Uh, am I heading to the right direction? I am not. It's alright. But dun 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 dun. See, so, yeah, it helps uh, having this music now. Because I have a little chocobo friend with me. Okay. You can turn that off, by the way. I can? Why would you ever? Because uh -huh. not all the mount music is as good as the Chocobo music, and also after oh, really? 500 hours, the Chocobo music sounds like a nightmare. Listen. <laughs> I've listened to a <laughs> lot of songs for 500 hours and never got tired of them. <laughs> don't, don't underestimate my ability to listen to a silly song over and over again. I've heard that Iwatora Dorm original Persona 3 music may be close to 2,000 hours now. And that song goes, Nobody in Branson put body. Don't hurt him in the move, nobody body. Go rock, rock the world. And that was for 2,000 hours. It doesn't sound like that, unfortunately. It doesn't sound like that anymore. They told him not to put on the weird funky filter anymore. What? So now you can actually understand the lyrics. I know, I had this devastating talk yes, with my brother. That's terrible. I agreed. I'm not 100% sold on the direction they've taken the music, because it seems like they said clean it up a little, and not realizing the grunge was the good part of the Persona 3 soundtrack. <laughs> Alright, let's help out Hi Hibaru Harbaru now. Oh yeah, buddy, what do you need? Oh, I'm pretty close to my next Lancer quest. That means I'll immediately leave this story <laughs> and go hang out and <laughs> do what they want me there. Alright, quest accepted. 
Uh... Oh yeah, run! I love the run to three different locations <laughs> to talk to these different people. Yeah, talk to them real quick. Well, hey guy, what do you need? Oh yeah, I've heard of that mass devil. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah. I don't know why I needed to talk to you about this specifically. <laughs> Excuse me, the merchant. Do you know about this ancient evil beast? Yes. Thank you for your Tell time. Me. Uh, I wonder if they do, they do it on sale. I'm actually curious now because I haven't seen it in the PC version. But I wonder if they uh, Chocobos all do the same thing now when you talk to someone. Because when I talk to them... Yeah! Oh, no, damn it. It doesn't show it as well as on the Steam. Like, they, like, fly away? <laughs> they, like, leave you and yeah, the leg. Yeah, they run off. Yeah. For some reason on the Steam Deck, it, it, st it stays around. So you can actually see them just, like, blast off into the sky. <laughs> That's weird. It but is. It's, it is super funny. It makes it seem like my chocobo got super jittery and just fucking <laughs> left. Hello, impassive merchant. Oh yes, dark robe. I've heard of them. Good talk, buddy. Now, yeah, dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> this is how you survive playing an hours-long game. You've typed the little joys in life. <laughs> it's all about how much you can tolerate the Chocobo team. Exactly. You didn't learn very much, huh? Well, good job. <laughs> I sent you up to go do nothing. But it's okay. Here's some EXP. Thanks, man. That's a nice little picture you have of you there. Um... Okay. I forget, I think some of these are supposed to be meant like, hey, you maybe you left for a bit because now the level requirement is done. But when they're done back to back, it definitely feels like, oh yeah, I finally found information on this guy. It's like, okay. Cool, cool. Use the smoldering coal in a specified location. Okay. Where to go now? I see where I am here. And we bring back the chocobo. Come back to me, Baja Blast. And make my way through. So you can get other mounts in this game, right? But not you say none yeah, of the songs are as good as the Chocobo song? Uh, they're different. Like, boss mounts are usually the boss's theme song. Mm. Stuff like that. I see. Do they have fat Chocobos? They do have fat Chocobos. Oh, that's great again. You can upgrade your Chocobo? Not your Chocobo. Well, you can upgrade your one, like, as a, as a fighter with you. Yeah. Hmm. So I can replicate the feeling of having a friend. He yeah, is my like number that. one friend, though. Always reliant. It's a shame that they don't show his name. Just they to let do if you make him fight with you. Oh, really? That would be a good yeah. way to let everyone know that Mexican pizza does not stand alone. It's here with Baja Blast. What the hell? We need to get some uh, Kishal greens. Oh, it was that dude's mount. I was like, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a giant bellow and then Alright. Here you go. Nothing bad can happen from just putting some coal on something. Take it back. Oh this guy. Easy. I should be doing all this other stuff, but I really don't think I need it for this guy. Ah <gasps> oh, damn it, I thought I leveled up. Alright. Back to my buddy. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it really does look like my Chocobo friend does want to fly. Then he doesn't. I remember when Toast, when I was playing with Toast, he had the Final Fantasy 15 car. Yep. He, and he, fl he flew me around in that. That was pretty fun. Alright. Yep, head on the right way. So you what can do you also get uh, mm -hmm. Cloud's motorcycle, but it costs Ooh. money. Oh, really? Do you have Cloud's motorcycle? I do have Cloud's motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I should. I could probably look at it now. Now that I'm actually legitimately playing, is my. It really does help to have the Steam Deck there, so you can do a lot of this easier, like little grind stuff on it. The only thing you miss out on is you miss out on the music. Bye, Chocobo friend. Back so soon. Yeah, it was very easy. Very, very easy. <laughs> what you wanted me to do. Here you go. 
The Ral Ralgar the Destroyer? It seems that is one of the uh, deities. Who? I guess if you're gonna uh, like worship a god, you may as well worship a god that is called the Destroyer. Yeah, I mean, you know, pick the winning side and all. Right? <laughs> yeah, fair. No one wants to be with the lame god. Pick a winner. Mm, got you. They're getting an Elden Ring archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, yeah, I guess I would be. I'm surprised that it's TCG first, and not on the OCG. <laughs> I would assume Japan also likes... Uh, what the hell? Is that a... Is that a mount? Is that dude just flying on a fucking flyer? Okay, it's gone. Never yep, mind. That's a mount. It's the mount from the Moogle Beast Tribe. <laughs> there was a there's a whale in here as well. What the fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck is that? That is a boo boo. <laughs> okay. I remember seeing Goku fly up in the air. So there is there also a mount that lets you just be Goku? The flying Nimbus? Yeah. yeah, the Nimbus. Yep. That's cool. It's called the Flying Cumulus. <laughs> just slightly different. Just change it up just enough and they can't ever get you. <laughs> That's cool, though. To be fair, the Goku is a public property because he is based off of Sun Wukong. So realistically, anyone can have the flying Nimbus. You just don't have to call uh, it Nimbus. The, the, the original flying Cumulus, which is gray, not yellow, I don't think you can get anymore. But the yellow one, you can just get online, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's cool. Maybe if I when I, when I get to the point where I can unlock flying. I'm going to assume that's something that you don't get to way later on, right? The ability to uh, fly. Flight, you get it after you get into the first expansion. Okay, got you. So I'll need to have gone into at least level 50 something. Yeah. Fun times. Doom, boom, doom, 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 doom. Look through all these little dudes. The star marmots. Huge hornets. I have to keep an eye on to see if any of these things are on my hunt list. I think there's some things in my Lancer that I'm still looking for, but I don't think any of them are here yet. I mean, I'm in a lower level. It's crazy how, like, empty these fields are, but all the actual, like, uh, villages are always full of people. It makes me wonder where well, do those Well, nobody wants to go out there and get beaten to death by monsters. <laughs> Alright, that's fair enough. <laughs> oh yeah, mapping. Uh, right there. What's your poison? I'm going there. Seeing these dudes for the first time, completely skipping them by because I'm already level 34. No need to fight them. <laughs> no need to do any of the quests related here at all. Thank you. Peace. There's no time for pleasantries. I have no time to call you a Mexican. Some people have started calling me pizza, which I don't know why some characters call me pizza versus Mexican. <laughs> it's a level of uh, intimacy, you know. I guess so. Yes. I want to. Uh, you I gotta respect the the last name. Yes. They may have called me Lord Pizza, and it made me really sad that I did not screenshot it at the moment, but I think I was so flabbergasted that someone had called me Lord Pizza. It had not been such a long time that someone called me by my last name. Oh man, we're both wearing the same fit. That's embarrassing. One of us is going to have to change. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey, buddy. You're not going to believe me when I tell you who I am. 
I also like that the dudes have like an open chest window here. What the hell? Why am I kicked out of here? Tell me and tell me t tell me specifically why the Mexican is not allowed to be here. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. But you're on official watch, old man. <laughs> Best keep your keep it to yourself. Hello, flame commandment. Oh, okay. They just they can't just trust me. Fair enough. Am I really gonna deliver tea? Okay. I feel like we have more pressing matters at hand, but I will gladly deliver this tea. Uh, I should have checked to see where the hell this tea is. Okay. Tea for three. Just go down. Okay. <laughs> Making my way. Excuse me, sir. No need to yell any specific things at me as I leave. Oh, is that a big cacturn? I don't know who you're trying to hide here, buddy. I know exactly what you are. You are uh, not. Yeah. Sabatender. <laughs> I love <laughs> these guys. They seem pretty cool. I don't want to. I don't want to actually hurt them. I just wanted to check out what their business was up to. Check out what they're up to. Oh, this dude already has a dog. Alright. Later, Chocobo. I could definitely see him fly up in the air that time. Here you go. Here's some tea, sir. Oh, you gave me some tea? Great. No longer aggro with you anymore. All has been forgiven. Come back, Chocobo. Let's go deliver this tea to some other dudes. Tea delivery! Aw, oh, damn it. Tea. You look a little angry, sir. Perhaps you could use some tea. Oh man, that tea was perfect. <laughs> Amazing tea. <laughs> this is, you know, this tea was enough to make me completely change my life on humanity. Leave me alone! Sir, please, you need some tea. Aw, oh, shoot, man, I'm so sorry. You're not so bad. Alright, back to the tea, man. As I go all the way back to where I began, baby. This is why you need the... the your buddy here. It makes the long walks back <laughs> just that much better. I have to remember- remind me to ask Vio about your grapes. Because I think Vio oh, was able right. to get extra grapes, if I remember oh, correctly. Yeah. Give me them grapes. Yeah, next time I... I'll send the grapes along with the, the Gojo plush that I still have for you that I have to send off. Hello, sir. Oh, God! Chocobo is in the mountains now. Uh, does it matter any of these, which I get? I guess this does. Buff me up a little bit. Sure, I'll take it. <gasps> dun dun dun! Alright. Time to completely fuck off from this story. And go do the Lancer, because it means a new, new ability. Later, guys! Good luck with your tea stuff. I'll be back after I've unlocked the power of the Dragoon. <laughs> I'm putting your concerns on pause. <laughs> Hold up. I have the ability to potentially jump even higher than previously mentioned. You know how it would be really handy to finding that T? My <laughs> my amazing ups. Ima yeah, exactly. Imagine how much quicker you guys would have T if I just jumped 50 feet in the air and then went back down <laughs> and delivered it to another person. All right, let me see if I remember right. I think it's down here. Um, I'm just gonna quickly use the mouse. Yep, okay. <laughs> For some reason, it's really squirrely on a controller, but not on the mouse. 
Alright, there we go. Come on, there we go. Trying to start the uh, the auto walker. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna learn how to fly. It's funny that it seems. I wonder. Do, do you know enough about the dragoon class itself, Zen, to answer my questions? Probably. Um, so from what I understand, is there no reason to ever use the pier the piercing talon? Because when I once I got the, the throwing the th it thing? yeah, because it seems like if so. I if I'm at a distance, I would jump rather than <laughs> just toss my lance at them. So no, because jumping moves your hurt box. So oh. there are situations where you have to be away from the boss and you can't be near it because it's oh. doing an AOE attack around itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And then you want to just be away and, and throw your, your little lance so you don't get hurt. But otherwise, you would just jump in, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. So, rarely will you use it, but sometimes, yes. It's one of those, like, occasional things when it pops up. Uh, no, you're the level mate. Goodbye, Jogbo. You're my guy. You show great potential, Mexican. That's all I've ever wanted to hear in life, my man. I just wanted someone to, to recognize me for me. And I'm glad that the Dragoon people have. Even though it seems like the only other Dragoon. I mean, not to disparage your skills, Mexican. But I just feel like you could have done a little bit of a better job cleaning up around here. <laughs> Alright, train me away, my friend. Tell me about your ancestors. Tell me about Is Ishgard. A man seduced by the worm and fell to hit- Okay, I thought that was gonna go in a completely different direction. Seduced is an interesting turn of phrase there. Yeah, that's what every old-timey person says when you- that's what- didn't they say that about the- the One Ring also? It's seduced I, uh, by its power. I guess it does, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just old-timey speak for- It's- Because they had, uh, gotta have some of that authentic old Britishness in there. It's true, but I guess in modern terms it really does make it seem like, was the worm seducing him? That sounds strange. But I guess there's more than one way to, to seduce a man. Or person. I can't. You seem to be really downplaying the ability of the Dragoon here, my friend. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I can jump. I have mad hops. You have not seen my vert at all. <laughs> Justice assumes many shapes and forms, Mexican. And none <laughs> can say that one is greater than the other. I'm just saying, it doesn't seem like there, there needs to be that many of you over here. <laughs> no, it's okay. The Dragoon accepts me for what I am. Mexican. All right, speak with uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Mount, Bruce Mont. Where are you, Bruce Mont? Bruce Mont, what a fucking name! It is the name of all time. Okay, I have to go back to <laughs> where I was. <laughs> yeah, it would be, you know, really convenient for me if you just moved your ass just a little bit closer to the waypoint. Instead of being all the way out here in bumfuck nowhere in Dragon Head. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm off to go You're meet like Bruce. hauling ass <laughs> across the entire <laughs> continent. <laughs> I am. There's no time. You know, the, a lot of people worked very hard on the splendor of this world. And to be fair, I do think it is very nice. But also, I'm here to book it. I got limited time before Yakuza comes out. And I'm lost to everything. <laughs> I got shit to do. Exactly. I don't have time. Feral Croc, very nice to see you, friend. Goodbye. But unless I need to kill him, I need to get my ass moving. The Ornery Karakul. Which looks just like a sheep. No time for this fate, either. What is going on here, buddies? No, these guys got it. You guys got it. They'll live. <laughs> They'll be fine. I trust them. I mean, that's the funniest thing, is running into a lot of those, uh, those like, fate things, and then, like, those dudes already have it kind of handled. 
So I'm like, ah, that's fine. You guys don't need yeah, me. Yeah, you're like, ah, eh, eh, you know, whatever. Eh. Yeah. How did I take so much fall damage from that? You're a chicken. You could have flown. <laughs> you could have flown just a little bit there at the end. All right, let me see. Is he somewhere down here? As I say it, as I was about to completely jump off this cliff. No, oh, okay. There's an easier way down here than falling to my death. Oh! <laughs> oh okay, okay, that was in. We're all good. I have forgotten. Yeah, well, yeah, as long as you don't have aggro, you won't die from fall damage. Oh, okay, sweet. Fall damage I will always leave you at one. But if you have aggro, so if an enemy is locked onto you and you jump off, it's over. Rip uh, you. Rip me. Also, I may have forgotten to set my heal up. One moment. Uh, I don't need the auto attack ever. When have I ever used that? I'm a dragoon. I hit things with my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, am I supposed to be down? No, I think I have to go up just a little bit higher. Where the fuck is this guy? Am I going crazy? <laughs> Where the hell are you, Bruce Mont? Are you actually deeper down below? No, oh, there he is. So he just watched me fall and <laughs> made no comments towards it. Yeah. Damn, damn He's not worried about it. <laughs> Listen, when your name's Bruce Mont, you've seen some shit. Are you done? Are you really gonna fucking attack me right now? Who's hitting me? Okay, I guess I have to go fight this guy. Check out this sick hop. Boom. Uh oh, we got two of them now. Psh. Maybe now they stand a chance. Oh god, they're really potentially hurting me here. No. Oh. Should be fine. Let me just activate this heal real quick. Not that I'm afraid of getting hurt, you know, just in case. You never know. Uh, there we go. Just quickly give me an uppercut here. As I thrust myself right in there. Run away. Ha, ah, nice try, idiot. You got nothing. I remembered I had to activate that real quick. I may have accidentally activated my stun, but it's okay. I meant to do that. Don't think that you're right, safe. Yeah, it's called strategy. Yeah, exactly. This is the inner workings of my mind. Like, watch. I'm going to run away. He's going to think he's okay. Brong! Boom! Jumped right at him. <laughs> now look at that. Pulled away aggro. Complete idiot. Took him for a fool. I think I might have messed up my rotation. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uppercut. Oh, you should have died from the uppercut. Got him. Yeah, take that, Bruce Mon. I didn't even need to kill that other guy. Ignore that I couldn't make that jump, Bruce Mont. Yeah. Pretty impressive skills. As you fade away. <laughs> he was that impressed with me. He's like, I've I've seen all I have needed to see. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Baja Blast. I'm gonna let you live, sir. Be thankful of your life that I've given you. Two people have given you life. One is God, the other is me. Choose to live your life <laughs> the way you wish. <laughs> do, 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 do. Excuse me, forest man. Delivery Moogle. Norbitrator, as I think that guy's name. Ignore that Baja Blast was just gonna walk into that wall for a little bit. Hunter Scholar. See, look, they're doing so well. You're doing. Keep it up, buddy. I believe in you. Yeah, they're almost done. They don't need my help. They can defend it all themselves. <laughs> Chocobo action cam. Yeah. There we go. 
I don't know why I took control. I wasn't even close to where I needed to go. I didn't even see that that fate was below my recommended level. Oh, Brick, I'm here. The soul of the dragon grows strong within you, Mexican. You can tell I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Thank you. New skill unlocked. Jump even more. Oh, this is, I love this move. The elusive this is your trap? backflip. Uh, I should probably change this so it's. Uh, that's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> There's a setting you can put on so that third hop bar doesn't show. Really? Yeah, because now I have. Or I think you already have it on. You have to drag all those skills off of it, though. Yeah. All right. Let me. Let me quickly go to character. Oh, I almost typed into the chat everything. Just see. No, I don't want to. Okay. You're in controller mode, so you can't use the keyboard shortcuts. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. All right, character. The actions and traits. Actions. Go here to my elusive jump. I kind of need return. I kind of need sprint. Do I need leg sweep? Just put just put return and teleport on a different hotbar. I can just put that on the second hotbar. You're right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll put that there. Then there we go. Then right here, roles, traits, general. It's general. Yeah. Put that there. Do I actually use Limit Break, or am I supposed to actually use this? Yeah. Yep. Oh shit, I guess I should put this somewhere. Put this here. Um... There's a jump button? No yeah, idea. triangle. I guess there, I mean... You can just tell them to jump, is what I mean. Oh, on your hotbar? Yeah, I guess you could. I had no idea. That seems like a silly thing to just tell someone. Oh, here's the stances. May as well to see if I have the stance that you're talking about. Oh, it's a uh, change pose. It's an emote. So, oh, it is. Uh, pull your weapon out, then hit start. Emote. Uh, d yeah, then you go to the next one, and then change pose. There you go. There you go. Perfect time to be posing up in winter. Okay, let me look. This is my new move, right? The elusive jump. I'm gonna. I need to find something to fight. See you what can do it does. without a target. You I can, can do it just whenever you want. Yep. Invalid target. You gotta hit the right button. You hit faint, not elusive jump. Oh shit! <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I can just uh, jump backwards whenever I want now. Oh, and uh, then I can. So then I would be able to do that, and then do that into into jump. Then, right? Wouldn't I? All right, we this need this heart bar needs even more fix in one moment. We'll put bloodbath over here. It's like, oh, hello, ornery cockroo. Stay back. Wow, <laughs> that is fun. All right, we're that closer to being a full fledged dragoon. I mean, you're already a dragoon, likely on yours. I mean, me. I am, in fact, a dragoon. <laughs> yeah. I just beat up this poor defenseless sheep that I just wanted to show my black flip to. Okay. And uh, the fuck was I doing? I was helping these guys with their their thing. I was giving tea to people. So let's Ah, uh, did I not do the thing? I totally didn't do the thing. Well. Isn't this the consequences of my actions? Uh, I'll get there somehow. Go from here. Find the little teleport thing and then make my way back to the story thing. Q. 
aqui. Let's see. I need to find the little waypoint thingy. There it is. And now this will stand an even greater question. Did I remember to unlock all the waypoints on this map? Only one way to find out. It seems like I did for some of these before I stopped playing, and then for other ones I just completely forgot. Oh, someone's having a pizza party. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. I remembered some of these in here. I think here's where I needed to go. And I forgot to activate that, but it's okay, because I got this one. And then I can activate it as I leave. At least they don't charge me for these, which is very nice. I make my way conniving ne'er do well. Hello. Just hanging out in the streets being conniving. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. Activate that real quick. Hello, distraught lass. I'm not at the correct level to help you. I'm sorry. Okay. And then from here, I think I should be able to make my way to where I need to. Gaming in the ultimate variety. Okay. First order of business. Check out these fucking sabotenders. What's the difference between a sabotender and a cacturn? <laughs> uh, well, a cacturn is a Pokemon, not a Final Fantasy monster. So that's oh, okay. part of it. Congratulations to Cacturn for being in Pal World. <laughs> are you are you referring to Cactars? <laughs> uh, is it Cactar? Oh wait, Cactar! Yes. Am I yes, actually? Yeah, you are. Holy shit! I totally am. Are you telling me that I've been calling Cacturn wrong this entire time? Am yeah, I that you've been Cacturn this entire time? Am I have I been have I been that Pokemon brain that my entire life that I've even forgotten <laughs> Cactar's name? It is the of all form of a Cacnea. Holy shit, I forgot. Yeah, I mean, they're both cactuses, to be fair. There's only so much in my head. That That is technically true. They are both cactuses. <laughs> There's never been a more straight-up fact than they are both cactuses. Aim, guy, I gave out your tea. All right, I have to get these guys to trust me, Zen. The T was not enough. So, wait, what were what you saying? What the differences between them? Before I got distracted uh, by my there, there isn't one, as far as I'm aware. Okay, it's just that different levels. Foot in the door. Where the fuck is this fucking foot? Aw, oh, Jesus Christ. It's all the way the fuck back here. Why are you making me go here? Okay. Back to Horizon. Excuse me. Zoom. Is there an easier way to get to here? Because I feel like it's silly that... To the Waking Sands? Yes. It seems like... Nope. Really? So they just decided... They, they give you tickets to, to warp there eventually. You might have some that you just don't realize it because you haven't played in two years. Fair. Very check your, fair. Check your inventory. Let's check my inventory. I have some mushrooms. Uh, not that I can see. Well, you have more pages. Well, those, the 22. The 22 looks like an envelope with red on it. What's that? Best, uh, yep. Just this use is... those. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Damn. Now I feel foolish. And it'll teleport you there instead of you having to run. Fair. I am going the wrong fucking way. Back, Baja Blast, back. I look away for two seconds from the steering wheel and you've driven me in a completely different direction. There we go. Alright, that's good to know. As he was asked. I'm not I'm not angry at Baja Blast. I'm just asking. <laughs> you know. Step he's it up. His best. <laughs> he's doing his best. To be honest, he's getting a the hell of a workout for sure. Don't go right, buddy. Yeah, he's putting mileage on the tires right now, for sure. <laughs> I mean, he is. He is a hard-working bird, that's for sure. Imagine seeing someone do this in real life with their bird. I'm supposed to go in here, right? Excuse me? Yeah, in there. Okay. This is the guy! This is the depressed man! He's, he's He thinks he's not good enough. What's up, buddy? Ah, Mexican. Join the club, Thancred. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with my welfare. Don't even bother, Mexican. I'm not worth it. <laughs> it's okay, Thancred. You'll get there. One day you'll be as confident as me. Blistering levels of self-confidence is actually deadly to a human being. Hello, Millie for Lily. Yeah, they've lost all trust in us. You're gonna tell me I have to give these people back their home? This seems like above my pay grade. I'm one person with one chocobo. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> I can't use these pants. Can I equip fear to... F Gear defeat? Why not? Oh, uh, those are tank pants. Oh, okay. That would be yours right there. The sure. Velveteen Sorrel. Is it one of those things where it's like the difference between men and women type of pants? No, there's just gear that's divided up based on the class that you are. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So, like, tanks can wear tank gear, you wear DPS gear because yeah. you're a DPS class? Yeah, okay, makes sense. May as well be a good time as any to just do the recommended gear and just very quickly say yes. Oh, I lost my little face mask. And I gained a not as good hat. It's a fine hat. <laughs> it's not the world's greatest hat, though. Um. Who the fuck is this? Oh, okay. I've never had to go this way. I did not know that there was another room in here. There's so many more dudes. Yeah, there's just dudes in here. Is that Yoda? Yeah, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I thought that was the, you know, Biggs, Wedge, Yoda, Papalomia, my, f my favorite Star Wars characters. <laughs> <laughs> Arbor Bender, <laughs> everyone's favorite. Harry Bert, hey Bert, if it isn't Mexican pizza. Thank you for saying my full name. People just call me Mexican or pizza. My name, Harry Bert, used to be. Loved between the people, but after certain allegations, I can no longer go back. <laughs> after cancel culture. <laughs> after the cancel culture. I can no longer return. <laughs> <laughs> I said some things. Now they won't let me back in. Alright. Thank you, Hari Bert. Clive. Isn't that the guy from the new Final Fantasy game? Clive? Yeah. yeah. He's here. Yeah. Though not as cool looking as the one in there. Probably because of the, the there's not been a graphics update to this game just yet. 
Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it's coming soon, is what I was told by someone. With the new expansion. Where the fuck do you want me to go? Oh, this is Gradinia. I know where Gradinia is. Do I have a... Does Gil matter that much that I should be saving it? Uh, not really. Okay. Should I be buying new weapons, by the way? I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> nah, they pretty much just give it to you. Okay. Not until, like, way later? Uh, yeah, eventually, once you get tomes, you can spend those on weapons, but you're far away from that. Oh, they got a black chocobo. And they can fly? What the fuck? Alright. Check it out. There's a lot of dudes here. Hello, Alberita. You can trust Mexican pizza with the Legion Resistance. See, look, he was- it was due to cancel culture. Listen. <laughs> Listen to the way she talks about him. <laughs> Poor Halibert. Okay. Killing him softly. One time. The quest names from here have always been very surprising. <laughs> the references that they've got, I would not think of anyone just being able to make them. Sir, please put on a shirt. Oh, is this just a platoon of resistance of no shirt men? I will help you, shirtless men. Whoa! Jumping out of <laughs> What the fuck? Hell yeah, he's got the Moogle suit. Damn, that was the coolest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, Albreda. Alright, go this way now. Damn, there's a lot of people here. Charlemagne, Charlin. I think he just fancy way of sp Whoa, what the hell? Is this one of those fancy ass cars you were talking about? That is, uh... I don't remember if that's the Blackjack or if that's the Mana Cutter. One of them is from Story Mode, and, that, and then there's one that you get from uh, the Gold Saucer. Wow. That's cool. Alright, back to Shirtless Man. Sorry, I got distracted. I think your guy's dead. I agree with you, man. Down with the... the 40s. You want me to go kill... oh, great. <laughs> okay, I'll go find your home and kill some antelope. You got it, buddy. Now it's time for me to ride on out of here. What the hell's going on over there? Oh, I can kill these! Okay. Sorry. I have to immediately get off of these. There you go. Get out of here, antelope slag. Then... Bam! Right to this guy! <laughs> this game is cool, Zen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it with my third eye now. Once I've unlocked the ability for cool hops, the entire game opened up. But unfortunately, my cool hops are on a cooldown. Which is maybe <laughs> the saddest thing. I'll just have to stab these unfortunate animals. 
Goblin Thug. Like, I don't feel like I need to really go higher up here. It seems like I was able to accidentally find them just going over here. Maybe I've oh, killed... Oh, antelope. Uh, if you look on your map, they should be yeah, little the, tiny the, Yeah, the, they're over here. I don't know why there were some over here, though. That's the thing that I was surprised about. Yeah, there's one right there. It's, it's like the little icon, like the, the quest oh, icon is. on your map. Alright. I'm gonna surprise this guy. Yeah. He had no idea. <laughs> he had no idea. He didn't know that his life was about to end today. Jump on him. <laughs> uh, jumping. It is bringing me back of all the good times of just of spamming jump in Final Fantasy IV. Excuse me, sir. I'm back. Fly off, Chocobo. <laughs> that time you definitely saw it go up weirdly. I've got your horn, sir. Horn up your man. Save his life. Okay. You want me to go get this stuff done, I think. Where is he, though? He's all the way over there, or all the way over here. Call him back up my chocobo. As he... he really is getting a lot of mileage out of all this. If EXP yeah, he's could... pretty worn down. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. You got this. Uh, I didn't notice that there was a giant-ass hole that you were purposely not going down it. Trying not to fall into it. <laughs> As I kept telling him, it's okay, you can make it. He's like, no, I don't Just think... Just jump! Just jump! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, man. Respectfully, oh, sir, I don't... <laughs> this will be both our deaths. Later, kelp trap. Smallmouth orborn. Is that a fish? No, it's not a fish. Oh, it's this guy. I'm back. Oh, Why? Yeah, Buscaron. Just ignore that, uh, my chocobo. Ah, I'm Mexican. Ever the sight for sore eyes. I'm just glad someone said it. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Please cook me up one miracle elixir. And then I can, uh, even though I won't actually uh, fight him in triple triad because they cheat. They have good cards. Why opponent have good cards? You can get deck? more cards. I have more cards. It's just that their cards have like the letter A and shit. Like, what am I supposed to fight against that? The yeah, highest A means that it can't be taken. Exactly. I have here. Th I have cards with like the four on it, and they have cards that say we cannot be taken from this side. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Realistically speaking, I'm fighting for my life. They also seem to be able to combo on me, and I'm not 100% sure how to combo. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do a plus or a same combination. Yeah, it, combo. That, those are the, the, the words that pop up on the screen, and I go, what the fuck does that mean? And then I lose. <laughs> One time I lost the entire board. I so was like, plus is if the two touching sides add up to the same number. So like... If one side is a five and a one combo, and the other side is a two and a four combo, mm -hmm. then they both make six, so that's plus. So it'll take both of those cards automatically. Um, same is if it's the same on both sides. So if it's an eight touching an eight, and then the other side is a seven touching a seven, that's the same. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that makes sense. All these would be lower. I'm just going to take some silver pieces. What's going on in this picture? That's alright. Might be as the woman seen something there. There's a lightning storm going on. Just like California weather right now. <laughs> alright. Oh, that seems like this guy's gone, gone, kind of going through it.
We'll stop him. As soon as I finish talking to him to say, hey, your guy's trying to ki kill himself. We'll find him. I think. He ain't heavy. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah, the names are great. Th they are. No, no, no statements. Whoa. He was getting attacked. Be not afraid. Watch out, a goblin. Psh. Get the hell out of here, goblin. Yeah, just keep walking. Nothing to see here, just goblin murder. You okay, buddy? There we go. Talk to him. Why do these guys remember, remind me of Waka so much? Of Waka? I don't know uh, why. It might just be because they're... Their shirt? <laughs> it might be because they're shirtless, to be honest. That's what we need. Joe DiMaggio voicing both of these characters doing the Waka accent. <laughs> no worry, man. I'll do anything to save a shirtless dude in trouble. We need to look after ourselves. Back to the chocobo riding, baby. Wow. He's angry because I just fronted on him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely furious. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to hit the attack button. There we go. Now he can't get me. Fly, chocobo! fuck was that in the air? It's too late now. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. It's fine. Whoa! What in the name of- is that a giant bird? Yep, you get that from story mode. Oh, okay, cool. Story bird. Okay. Quest accepted, come highly recommended. Back here. Now that old man will have no choice but to accept us. We helped your shirtless dudes. We're part of the family now. You can't just kick us out. Where is he? There he is. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Yeah, change your tone, old man. I got a letter. Gundo bald. Yeah, more like... <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we're friends now. Learn to accept it. My mount speed has increased. What do you want me to do, Gundo bald? The bear and the youngins care. Oh, let me first talk to the, the youngins first, I guess. That guy's clearly suspicious. Anyone who starts their sentence with, I didn't do anything bad, clearly has done something bad. <laughs> yeah, that's never a good start. <laughs> no, no one starts a conversation that way. It's like, I know what you're thinking, but it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, I have to leave the cave now to go talk to the other one. Very inconsiderate of these dudes to be outside. Are they even outside? They might actually be deeper into the base somehow. The 
use a little all amigo. That's right. Um, they up here? Nope, they're down below. But if I jump on them, sir, I need to speak to you. See, you have to be taller than them to establish dominance. There's his last guy. Yeah. Damn it. They won't let me sit on them, they refuse. <laughs> yeah, I'd hop on them, hatchling bunny. Lean on them. Alright, go back to Gunbald. I would hate to live in this kind of like cave like system. I think anyway. Not 100% sure, but I don't think I would do very well in a cave. It would not make for a very good caveman. Every single person saying, I don't know what you're talking about, has confirmed with me that there is something bad going on. A potion E for spine drops? Which one of these of the three is best? Uh probably the high potion. Go with the high potion. Even though I don't think I've used a single high potion in the forty something hours I've been playing the game. Well you don't need MP because you're melee. It's true. And if you really need a an item that cures paralysis, then I don't know what to tell you. My number one MP point is at the tip of this spear. Feel the magic run through your spine. <laughs> Wired wants you. Cool. My greatest enemy trying to figure out how the fuck do I get out of here. Here we go. Bing bang. I left before that gate could open. Too fast for him. Make friend. <laughs> Some kind of fate going on. It's okay, not needed. I've already done my daily fate things. Or weekly, I guess. What the hell's going on over here? I have a feeling that I might be jumped by some Al Megivaniath youth Zen. Damn, who could have predicted this? <laughs> There's so many, I don't know which one the fuck are the ones I'm supposed to be fighting. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just helping me out, thanks buddy. Wasn't really needed. Yeah, Wilred, he's really getting involved there. No, the, the Juano Furri Furrioni over here helped me out because he was he thought that was one of his. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love when that happens. This is pretty good. He's, he just knew really that coming together. Yeah. Question, Wilfred. All right, we're out of here. Yeah, I should try and find some kind of the, the little cabbage thing for my joke. But where do you get them? Just buy them. Yeah. Can you just find them so at greens. any store? I know where you can buy them in Limsa Laminsa, but that's the only place where I know for sure where they are. Uh, where are they over there? Maybe we'll see after this one. Uh, if, yeah, if, I'd, have if to, I have I'd have to look. I, I think it's the alchemists, or no, the. Uh, ding, ding. What the fuck is it called? Alchemist guild. Arcanist skill. Arcanist guild. And then you run out toward the. Um, toward the fishing pier. And they're on sale by the fishing pier. Hey, it's Wano. That's right. Velveteen shirt, heavy armor. Don't really need any of these. I guess I'll just take more of this. Thanks, man.
Big Trouble in Little Elm. That's also a very good title. I love Big Trouble in Little China. Good old bald. Ugh. Why, you didn't seem like you were that in dire straits. Oh no, she's dying. <laughs> <laughs> I think, or she's crying. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, she was just being made fun of? Do not let them poison you, child. Your lack of shirt is what gives you strength. It means someday we will reclaim our homeland. Do not let them poison you. <laughs> Literally, they will try to do that. <laughs> oh, will they? <laughs> Spoilers for future. Gonna bold. Don't drink anything. Alright, let's see. Um, assert the youth's intentions. That seems weird. Okay, there we go. What are these crazy youths going to be up to, Zen? These youths. Oh, well, <laughs> their silly notions of rebelling Can't against... Can't trust the youth these days. It's true, with their loud music and their... Well, it seems like the youths are the one pushing the no-shirt agenda. If I'm being 100% real with you. <laughs> the shirtless agenda. Yeah, it seems like that's what their motif is at the moment. But Gun Bald over there seems to be wearing what I would consider a shirt. Hey, it's the bat car. It's the it's the car. I think you parked it a little weirdly though, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't see the behemoth that was over there. Um. Okay, I guess I go down over this way. I thought there would be more in here, but I guess I found the one piece of evidence that was here. Hunting knife. What could these youths be up to with a hunting knife? You wild lass, tell me how you feel. Damn, not afraid of a few lizards? Uh, gotta go find more youths. I'm gonna find them on my chocobo. The youths love chocobos. That's true. It's true. We'll put them in a false sense of like security when they see me walk up to them with a chocobo. Like, I know you're slightly older, but also you have a chocobo. I feel like I can still trust you. Hey, Wolfred. There we go. I don't think the Lord of Destruction is really helping anyone, my guy. I feel like I don't need to find the last one. I think I found their intentions. I don't know why I need to find the last guy to tell me what they think they're doing. I know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, we figured it out. You, shirtless youth. I can't even afford my own cave. It's bullshit. I feel you, man. Trust me, I feel you, but... I feel like there's better ways of going about this than asking the Lord of Destruction for help. <laughs> I can't go through that door. Uh, I have to go to Archibald. Not Archibald. Uh, Gunnabald. I don't know why I suddenly went into Fire Emblem there for a bit. <laughs> it's, it's all the same thing. <laughs> all semi-medieval-ish. Hanging out in caves. Hammer thing. <laughs> They're all vaguely the same. 
No, not the youths. When will they understand? When will they learn? Here's their knife and here's their map. Hunting might be on a map. Oh no. Is that all you need to summon the guy? <laughs> That's all you need. If you it's wish that this... easy. <laughs> it's that easy. Just get a knife and get <laughs> find my map and find me and you know, let me tell you, you're in for a good time. Well, I'm in for a good time. You're in for death, but all right, chocobo time. I interrupted my chocobo. Here we go. Downwind. Later, sub tender. So when I don't look at them, that's when they move? No, yeah. they just move whenever they want to. Oh, really? And I thought it was like, if yeah. you're not looking at them, that's when they move. No, they'll just move on their own. There. Swarms. Fallen mage. A lot of fallen dudes over here. Just having a fallen party over here at the end. Hello. Goodbye. I need to kill some of you, sorry. I saw the light pick up and that meant that some of you have to unfortunately die. Even though I remember some of you trying to sacrifice me to a god. Of some kind. Boom. Uppercut. You're talking to your homie, that's fine. How about if you just died? This guy next. Even though he has more health because he's a bruiser. No, he's dead. They're all dead the same to me. Stop, Wilfred! His name really is Wilfred. I thought I was getting his name wrong. <laughs> oh, this one required 31. I'm getting pretty close to uh, where I need to be, I guess. Or where my level's at. Did the, uh, no others survive? Your plan here was not very well thought out. Bring. I leveled up. I know all, emotions are high right now, but I just wanted to say I leveled up on the battlefield. <laughs> emotions are high right now. <laughs> People are stressing a little, but you know. I feel like the vibes are down, but I'm level... I leveled up. It's a big day for me. That's not good. I've got... Holy shit, there's a lot of things here. Now that everyone's closer to my level, they're maybe doing a little bit more than I would have expected. God damn, they got a lot of people. Why the fuck did you guys think you could uh, do something about these guys? It's <laughs> a lot of dudes right here. My, my duty failed, by the way. I think I wasn't supposed to let some of them die. <laughs> okay. Well... Whoa, hey now. I can beat it on normal. I just maybe underestimated and didn't read that I had to keep them alive. I didn't fail the mission. Wilfred failed the mission. With dying. Did you ever think of that? No, I didn't think so. I, mean, I was also pretty close to killing that dude.
should have done this. Am I still fighting the main guy? I can't actually tell. No, I, I don't think I am. I might actually be. One moment. These guys are getting like jumped by 55,000 things at once. Holy shit, why are there so many dudes here? I don't want to die. Uh, listen, Get out I. Of there, strapping lad. You should. Strapping lad, you should not be over here. I think we, they might have died again because I'm unsure of which of these dudes are the ones I'm supposed to be fighting. Alright, alright, alright. We're all fine. We're all fine here. I think. Nope. They overwhelmed him again. Okay, let me try that one more time. This time I'm gonna know for sure which one of these dudes is the ones I'm supposed to fight. This time for sure. They all look vaguely similar. I don't know which ones are the bad ones that I'm not supposed to- the, the quicker ones. Okay, these guys. Yes. I'll- I'll kill these guys. Yes, there we go. Because if not, they just flood the board. And that makes me sad. And it makes him sad too, because he dies. <laughs> there we go. All nice and simple. Isn't it so much easier when we're all united and some of us aren't forgetting? Nah, 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 nah. Get over here. I know what you guys are. Get over here. Getting you right now before you go after them. Nice try, buddies. You're not getting past me this time. I don't know who you think you are, funny man, but you're also not getting past me. I can tell which ones they are now because they're lower leveled. <laughs> Take that. So many of them are coming from. Die! Okay, there we go. Why are there. Oh, I guess they're constructs, never mind. I was wondering why are these dudes being helped out by real people? Then I remembered there is. Yeah. <laughs> There's no easy, unfucked up way to say that, but. But they clearly look different from them. They look like us more than they look like them. <laughs> Even though I'm not a human, I'm, uh... <laughs> I am about to say I'm Mexican. <laughs> I'm Mexican pizza! I'm, I'm on my race. I forget what race Mexican pizza is. But it's the blue, it's the blue, uh, face people. Alright. Alright, yeah, that's alright. Let's go. Uh, your skills at arms are impressive. Thank you. Our wayward youths could learn from a woman like- There are so many dead, Gundabald. I thank you for hyping me up, but they died today. Oh, is it, there's no F in Willard. I find it- I've been calling him Wilfred this entire time. Yeah, it's Willard. My bad. <laughs> I dare say Mexican will wish to hear it as well. Okay. All good here. Alright. After I figured out which one of those dudes had to die first, it all went smoothly. Turns out when you're not ignoring the mission and actually doing what they want you to do, it's a little bit easier. Or manageable. Do, 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 do. Make my way. Gonna go listen to Wilrid tell me about how he killed a bunch of his own people. Cookie doo doo! Billy Hatcher's here. And we're both here for Gundabald.
I never stopped to question the motives of the mysterious masked man who told me to summon a dangerous god man. <laughs> And sorry, I tried to kill you. No, no worries, bro. Happens all the time. High potion. High potion. Oh, no. yeah, green die. You can die one of your awful armor pieces green now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Awful? You're saying that this awful shirt is terrible? Let me first talk to Gundabold. I've been saving you know, like a lot. My horrendous shirt. <laughs> you think you think that there's something wrong with my horrendous shirt and terrible fucking do rag? <laughs> okay, you know what? Just because of that, I'm gonna green it up a little bit. How do I use this green shit? Lime green. Uh, go to your gear. Oh, can I go to? You I had to go to your gear item. It, you also have to have it unlocked. You might not have unlocked it. Uh... Go to character. Character. Then go to the gear piece. Oh, you can't dye the shirt. The shirt's undyable. But the hat, the gloves, and the pants are dyable. Alright, how do I dye it from here? Square. Oh, you don't have dyeing unlocked. You gotta unlock it. How do I d unlock dyeing? It's in Western Thanalan, I think. Or one of the Thanalans. There's a quest to unlock it. Guess I'll I think go it's away. Western. It might be Central also. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess I gotta go somewhere now that I have to report back to Mini Finelli over there. So let me go to. Is it the journal? No. Why am I. There we go. Okay. Where is it again? Thanalan? Uh, it's in one of the Thanalans. I don't know which one. Thanalan. Uh, it's not the southern one. It's either the central one or the western one. Central Thanalan. Right, let's see if I have some. Look. Oh, it's it's there. It's there. It's see the thing up at the top. It says the bonfire. Uh huh. That's where it is. I've accidentally found exactly where I need to go. Uh, where do I go from here? Go up. Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, up there. Okay. I think that's the place. I might also. Oh, there's a triple triad game behind you. Is there? Yeah. Bring your map back up. Oh, okay. Obviously, see down let's go... There the, the, that guy. Let's go see the random dude who wants to triple triads in the middle of the desert. He surely has to be, have garbage cards. Oh no, he's gonna be down here and it's gonna be some like kind of fucking underground civilization type shit. No, he's a bartender. There might be a chance. Sir, triple triad me. Yeah, let's do it. That's easy enough. Oh, he's for got me. two cards you don't have. Did I just do. Okay, no. I just hit recommended. Alright, these are likely the best cards in my deck. Uh, actually, recommended does not always hit the best cards in your deck. Alright. I lied. What do I, what's my opening move here with my Moogle friend? It looks like I'm forced to use my Moogle. <laughs> uh, I would put him in the middle because he has three shitty zones, so. Um. He'll take it. All right, all right. Take the dragon from up above with him. Didn't work out somehow. Oh, it's reverse. Oh, what, it's reverse. What does reverse mean? It's reverse. Reverse means the lower number wins. Ah, oh, that means this Moogle is impossible to get from. A banger, yeah. Shit, fuck me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. All right. Um. I mean, I can take the bird. I think I lose here. God, so I need the shitty cards okay, then. Okay, so make, make your own deck because it's reverse. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Alright, challenge. Uh, it's not gonna work to... You have no! to go back. You have to make it in a different menu. Alright, I have to hit recommend. Alright, we're gonna try again knowing now knowing what we do. Alright. Reverse. Please go first. God damn it. God damn it. This chocobo so is actually bottom left, bottom left corner. Bottom left, okay. Yeah, okay, it's because like, it's ungettable from here. Yeah. So this means that the uh, those... upper left corner. 
Uh, right here? Yep. Oh, because, yeah, they can't take the one. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, uh, the guy here is a liability. Upper right corner. Right here? Yeah. We can take with this, but bottom, this boot... Bottom middle is the best you can do. Or no, yeah, right there. Put it right in the middle. And take that guy in the middle. Oh, okay, yeah. Takes it back. Uh, but and... that enforces... Yeah, it's still a draw. Yeah, so you now that it's reverse, go out of this menu. Hit okay. start. Go to gold saucer. Gold saucer. Got and then card, card decks. decks. Card decks. Click on one, and then you just want to put your shittiest dudes that have the lowest stats around the card. Okay. The so... ones are the best. Twos and ones. So definitely Chocobo up in the mix. Where is the? And now the... also remember that this is in order, so it's going to force you to play the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth card in a row. So put them in the order that you want them in. Okay. Okay. So put your ones closer to the end, and then your twos and your threes and stuff closer to the beginning. Hmm. Okay. So Moogle. So yeah. Put the. Well. Put the chocobo in there for sure, and the up opo. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The, the, the oh yeah, this chocobo also got it. Yeah, uh, and then uh, I think the coral has two twos on it. The this guy, yes. Yeah, and then whoever else is left that just has low numbers that's not already in there. Exali, there you go. That's a one on it. There we go. Boom. And then I would put the coral first because um, he doesn't have any ones. Okay. All right. There you go. I like that. Oh, that's a that's a good reverse deck right there. All right, we'll put reverse. Does that mean A is like the world's in reverse? It would make it the world's worst one to pick. Uh, yeah, A is the weakest. I forgot to hit save. Okay. Roger. Let's go again. Triple triad time, baby. Got you this time, Roger. You ain't gonna be able to handle this. Okay, order and reverse. God, really? Alright, so where will we put this guy from the start? Uh, middle. So then now you can put the Opo Opo underneath him. Oh, I, oh shit, I meant the dragon, but that's fine. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, now you can put... I would just take the chocobo... You can put it upper left, right? Yeah, do that, yeah. Yep, yep. Ooh, take That's fine. Now put the moogle below the dragon. Here, here. Oh, yeah, this guy can take the dragon back right there. Fuck, then... you forced to draw again. It is a forced draw. It's alright. Alright. Got it this time. We, we got the strat, we just gotta fine-tune it. Exactly, we have to outthink them, outmaneuver them. Okay, okay, put it in the middle. Try it again. Okay, so now we can put the Opo Opo down here, right? Uh. I think it's gonna be easier to take. Do we have a way to take? Yeah, we have a way to take it with the Chocobo next, this one, because our Chocobo's okay, are one. Yeah, good so. call. Good call. Yep. They do have the ability to take that here. But if we take it from here... Put the we'll... Chocobo right there, yeah. Because the best cards to take are ones where the sides are covered now. Mm. Let's see, this is a Just one. put the Moogle in the spot, the empty, the the right one, the separated spot. This one? Uh, bottom, middle, right side. This one right here? Yep. Because then he has to play a card, and now you can put that and take the bomb. Yeah, win! What do we get? And you got one of the cards. Nice. Let me see what put in is real quick. Maybe we can add it. Put in. Use. All right. Go check out Gold Sasa. God, this pudding is disgusting looking. A five, two, four, three. No, nah, I don't think we need it for our eh, specific reverse yeah, one. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get that other card from him. Farm it up. It's the battle of the worst cards imaginable. Who will win? First again. Oh, he's changing it up. 
I guess we can put it here to cover the. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Hope that they don't. Okay, no, they didn't. We can take them here now, or we can take it from here. Fake completed, by the way. Yep, I like that. Do we want to take this one up here? Uh, uh yeah, because then the choke was not exposed on that weak side. Okay. Yeah, because it is a seven. Just put the Moogle in the empty spot. Or actually, oh, I wish the Moogle and the Exali were switched. Oh, but you win anyway. Yes, I can still take that, so it's fine. Ah, oh, boo, sometimes I don't give you a card. What's up with that? Yeah, Roger. sometimes I don't give you a card. Are you afraid? Don't underestimate how much free time I have. <laughs> I mean, they go first. Uh, should we try and take them? Uh, we can take it from, down to do it from the bottom. Yeah, but yeah. They'll be able to take us right back, but. Uh, we can take it again right here, from right down here below. Oh, we'll see how it goes. That's how it goes. Um, We can take the Chocobo right back immediately. <laughs> Let me see, can that... I don't think the, the red guy can take anything, right? He can't... 3-3, three, three, so I can just go here and we'll be fine. Yes, thank god. What happens in the saucer? Oh, all I guess all my dailies came back. Never mind. Yeah, they come back uh, weekly. Alright then, I see how it is. Start. Blue turn. Start here again. What will your play be? Interesting play. Uh, hmm. Let's see if it's us on here. Go here. Just take it here. I can't really take anything. And unfortunately, a draw. Ends a whole bunch. The AI seems to have been learning from the last time it lost. <laughs> it is not following for the same monkey shines as previous. Blue? Okay. Surely this time he'll, he'll do it again. Yes. So that means go here, take it. He can go there, take it. That's fine, because then we can take... Actually, we can just take this one. No? Uh... I'll go here. Uh, he has to use one of his 277 Zoods. So we can force him to go... Yes! Perfect! The final card? Yeah! Thank you yeah, for the marble. marble. Let's go! See, this is what all games need, is that they need a uh, card game on the side. That's how I got to finish Witcher 3 eventually. Marble, is that I dueled absolutely everyone that was possible to duel in Gwent and beat them. I'm pretty sure I had every card in Gwent by the end of the game. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's just the way you play games with card games in them. It's true. All right, Roger. I actually like collecting triple try cards. It's really fun. It is. I like this uh, aspect of it. It's real weird to have like an actual. You want me to look card up collect. more people that you can play? <laughs> I'm still I have early a whole on. List of them online. Yeah, you can try as I go look for my dice so I can green up this hat. Why am I running like a fool? Baja Blast, get out here, buddy. This is your time to shine. Have you played everybody in the Gold Saucer already and gotten all their cards? I have not. Because I took That's where I would them. start, then. I think I've been in some of them, but I think some of those dudes, I did not take all their all their stuff. Mainly because eventually I got into I ran into dudes and started getting A's. But we can go to the Gold Saucer and see which dudes I'm missing. Ah! Oh, God! Wrong way. It's fine. 
It's okay. I was... It was not your fault, Baja Blast. I was maybe a little asleep at the wheel. It was not... <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe distracted by Triple Triad. And where we could go play it. And uh, you almost fell off a cliff, but it's okay. Hamund. Bunch of bees. Seraph Cloud. Speak with Mutamix. Yeah, this seems like a place where you would get died. Transmute materia? Is this where I do it? No. No, you gotta. It's it's called something. Let me see if I actually. Time to do with dying. Time to die. Uh, Let's be maybe one of the ones in here already. Beauty is only scalp deep. Uh, the quest is called Color Your World. The NPC is Swergeem. Color your He's world. He's in Vesper Bay. Map. So he's where you need to go for story. Why can't I do this yet? Deliver a bottle of orange juice to Swigger? Because you don't have the orange juice. Where do I find orange juice? Uh. Purchase you can get a bottle. It from a bunch of merchants, or you can make it as a culinarian. Okay, so. There's where? a merchant in, in Western Thanaland. There's a merchant in Mender that you can get it from. Western Thanaland. This must be where I can buy it then. Merchant and Mender at X12, Y13. Isn't this where um, the main story is? So it's literally is? right next to the guy. Okay. Uh, Totally using one of my very important tickets. Later. I remembered this guy. It was the dude that looked like um, he had all the colors in the world. And then I didn't fully understand what he wanted from me. Swigger and yeah. So where do I? Where is this merchant they speak of? Crafting crafting tome vendor? Maybe he has it. Uh, his name is Merchant and Mender. Well, I don't know what that is. Okay, Merchant and Vendor, Delivery Moogle, Fairy Ticketer. Independent armor fighter head armor fitter? No. Nope. Merchant and M E N D E R Mender. Merchant Mender? Yeah, Merchant and Mender. Purchase items. Sir, do you have any orange juice? He does. Can I also, while I'm here, does this man have the Moogle stuff? No, it doesn't look like he does. Maybe it's under tools? Nope, but it was worth looking at. Alright, later. Just watching this lady dance? Yeah, this guy. Here's some orange juice. She is tall as hell. Yeah, this feels, she's a Rogatan. This is borderline intimidating for some people, but not for Mexican pizza. That was also slightly intimidating when that guy showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Ox. 
Alright, so we've unlocked dying then. I've unlocked dying at least. You've had the ability to die for years now. Holy shit, Quite I can a make while, a yeah. yellow chair. <laughs> I don't have a house though. I don't think I do. You do not. Yeah, no house. house. Cost 300,000 gil. The poor old Mexican pizza. No, I'm sorry, I lied. 3 million gil. Apartments are 300,000. There's nothing that uh, Stan can do for me. They can't just... Alright, let me first up green up this hat. I feel like they could have just showed the hat, but you know what? You do you on this one. <laughs> Who am I to judge a Japanese game? Yeah, green hat. Now I look kind of like Goofy. If Goofy wore a green bandana. Uh, we need to go to report to Millie Finelli before I forget and go off to go do triple triads. I, I am here. I may as well talk to her. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You did use a ticket to get here. I did. Excuse me. Whoa. Is there a bard there playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? He is, man. Let him cook. I respect that. <laughs> if I do had a clap, I would have clapped for him, but... It was the, the reveal that there was a snowman hanging out the entire time that killed me. <laughs> Oh shit, there was people in here. Toast was in here. Hello! I haven't realized that there were people here the entire time. Did you get any of the booster packs? No, I didn't. Sorry, goalie. Is this one of the waking sands that teaches you to die? Yes, it is. We eventually found it. <laughs> we found it? Uh, funny. Back to Millie Vanilli. Shut up, Toast. Welcome back, Mexican! I'm <laughs> reliably informed that you did very well. Yeah, I did it. No way. Zen, your immediate reaction to Hulk Hogan saying, maybe I got one more match in me. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> You don't think they bring him back out? He's the one that ends oh, Roman. Oh no, they will. <laughs> I just don't think it'll be good. No, of course not. It will be terrible. No, I don't think Hogan has had a good match since he left New Japan. Oh, you're the one who called me a goober in game. I didn't even see that. I've been so hyper focused on our die quest that and our triple triads. I didn't even realize that you were in the chat the entire time. See, that's my reaction to Toast calling me a goober. We talked about your Final Fantasy car a little while back. Complete. We did it. We saved those shirtless men and women. We didn't get back their hometown, Heroes. which I feel like is what they wanted. But we stopped them. We didn't stop them. They all died. I don't know what we did. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we actually didn't help those people at all. <laughs> I guess they technically didn't summon their god. We stopped them. You know what? We did it. We saved them. Be careful out there, Mexican. Oh, there he is. Inaki Kinsei said goob. That's toast. Be careful out there, Mexican. Be careful out there, Mexican. <laughs> oh my god. It's never not funny. Alright. It's time to triple triad it up. Going back to the gold saucer. If I knew how to respond to you in chat, I would, Toast. You go, so hit the, are you on a PlayStation 5 controller? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm also, I got a PC directly to me. Uh, oh, I guess so I can. Put your hover over the name there. Uh-huh. Hit square. Uh, okay. Send tell. And now type whatever you want to type. Uh, no, you. 
Got him. Damn, you're hiding from me. <laughs> hiding from me. Afraid of the truth. <laughs> Afraid of the truth. <laughs> it was a pretty serious quest. You know what? It did sound like those people were in... <laughs> This is my favorite guy right here. This guy knows what's up. That's a mount, actually. Is it? Yeah, you just go in the snowman. That's pretty cool. If he moves, the head will bump up, like bounce open, and he'll hold his little his actual character <laughs> head will be under it. Toast says, "I'm not on more, bro. Give me a minute. I'm doing hunting trade. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. All he sent was no you." Where the, how the fuck do I get to the gold saucer again? I guess I could just travel there, but I think you can just get there for free, I thought. This guy- is this guy following me? <laughs> you- like- <laughs> The snowman after you. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see. Okay, no, he's, he's, he's not following me, but that, for a second, I was like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> I, I, I couldn't <laughs> tell. Uh, let's go off to the gold saucer, I guess. Let me just go here. Does this not count as a gold saucer? There it is. Come on. Let's go get some. We've saved the people, Zen. I think the savior of everyone deserves some triple triad plays. I also, when I unlocked this place, I almost got lost in it because I was actually playing a lot of the mini games. <laughs> yeah, Gold Sasha's great. Yeah. Okay, go over here. And this world finds more triple triad guys. One of these guys, I know I beat completely. Yeah, if you hit square, you can bring up your map, and it'll show you the icons of people that still have cards. So everyone in there that has a little card mark above their head still has a card for you to take from them. Yeah, this guy. So first things first, I should actually make a deck. Apparently your decks aren't saved between Steam Deck and Steam. So who are my best cards in here? I think it's Gold Saucer Attendant. This three star. Literally all the ones with the big this turtle. I can't tell if this Moogle is good, but it only but I think no because uh, it has a the one. Moogle is useful to just take a card like and it's one good side. Yeah. Uh and I guess this Ixalan can be the last one. I don't know if it's better to have maybe just one who's just like not very good at all sides, like a like a bomb over someone who's like just super hyper focused, but it's fine. Ah, uh, this one's good for now. Yeah. All right, I've come back again. I grinded him all yesterday. No time for small talk, just duel. But I was never able to get that final card of his to drop. Gunthwit of the three. Okay, so what should my open move here be? Uh, oh, what's he got there? Seven and eight up, six is all side. Uh, put the turtle in mm -hmm. the bottom left corner. Bottom left. All right. Put the Moogle to the right of that guy. Oh, I can't just. If you grab some boosters, that could give you a little bit of a boost against those guys. Can you just buy boosters? Yeah, you can. Holy uh, shit! <laughs> take the Exali and put him in the upper right hand corner. I didn't know that you could buy boosters. Uh, I don't think I can beat this guy. Put, wait, 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 wait. Uh, put a gold saucer attendant in the middle. Gold saucer? In the middle? Oh, that was the plus thing you were talking about. And then he plused oh, no. on me. He plused back on you. He did. Alright, where can we buy, <laughs> where can we buy boosters? Uh, okay, so go out of here. To yeah, the left. Yeah. To the left? Yep, and then, uh... Around the table, there's one that's a triple triad person on there. Triple triad trader. There you go to the left. Oh, okay. You can buy individual cards or you can buy uh, boosters. That'll just give you a random card. Uh, where are the boosters? Oh, here they are. All right. 
So I've got about 4,000. What do you think? Gold Triad card? Uh, Gold Triad's going to have more likely have higher rarity cards. Sometimes there's some shitters. Maybe get a gold and a silver. Gold and a silver. Just like Pokemon. Boom. Gold, silver, a bronze singular bronze. Worthless. That's going to have stuff like with the Moogle and everything in it. It's fine. I can just sell it. This is how the card market works then. They only sell for like 50. They sell for 100. I That was a new card. Blue Dragon card. Let's go. Okay. Blue and Dragon's two... actually pretty good. That's Look the, at that! That's, that's the that's the two two seven seven I think. You're talking to a man who goes to magic drafts now. This taru, is a Tarataru, taru. okay. common one. I think I did not have him, so I'll consider that a win. Ten, fingers. ten fingers. All right. Let's look at my deck. Card list. This is Tatar Taru. This is a two seven three three. This is that. This is the blue dragon. The other guy was also on the first page. What was it? Am I just blind? Yeah. Look for the green dot. Two to the right. Yeah, there you go. Ten fingers. Me the one said if me, me myself was ever to stand twixt me in the life of venture straight woods up and down the wrench. I feel like that's slightly racially tinged. I just don't know for which one <laughs> is it supposed to be. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do we want to replace anyone here with any of the dudes that we got here? Uh, the blue dragon should definitely go in. Okay. We can replace the, uh, the, the Exali. Okay. And then Batteron can go over probably the Moogle. Alright. No need for Taru actually, at the moment. Uh, maybe put Tataru instead of uh, Batteron, because that way you have a 7 going in multiple different directions. Fair, fair, fair. The fashion report gives some NGB2. I don't think I got the fashion yeah. for it. I got All I got is like a green beret. <laughs> That's all I got. Like, my fashion, look at me. Horrendous. This shirt, I don't even know where it came from. You can also do, I think there might be an open tournament going on right now. I am dressed horribly. I'm not no, here. there's not one going around. But that open two tournament guy, guy, every, like, two, two hours, you can enter an open okay. tournament where you just draft cards instead of using your own. Can um, just sign up? Starts in 43 minutes. So, uh, you can't sign up for it until you, it's open, okay. but... You just draft cards, and then you get booster packs based on your placement. So. I see. What, what were you saying, boy? You were talking in my ear, talking about my class-specific armor? The more you go into the dragon, the armor. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm not there yet. I'm level 36. I haven't unlocked the ability to look cool yet. I have to look like a goober. Alright, we're back to uh, fighting Gawent of the three. Gawent, yeah, that's Gwent. his name. Go Gawent. All right, where can we start from here? Here's another important question: Did I remember to log into Fago? <laughs> as I realize, as we hit 8 p.m., and I'm like, "That's time for dailies." Shit, did I remember to do that yesterday because of Final Fantasy? Uh, how do you want to start this one? As I quickly go into my game, uh, uh, do Blue Dragon or uh, uh, do just do Tataru in the middle? Taru middle. So what you got? Okay. Oh, uh, we now can take this guy. you can put the put the turtle on the left of that guy. I remembered. Saved. Um. Now put the blue dragon upper right corner. What? This guy looks like. Uh oh. Oh my God! He plussed you again. Yeah, this is this is was my problem. This guy's constantly comboing my on put, my ass. Okay, put the twins. Uh huh. Twins, bottom right corner. Bottom right. This one right here. Bottom right. Yep. Wait, did I do my math wrong? Yes, I did seven, do my math seven. wrong. I got it reversed. That's all right. <laughs> Whoops. We draw. <laughs> it's all right. Let's go. Da you're going down. Go went. Just don't make me go first. God damn it. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna try again with Taru mid. 
Okay. I think we can um, take the turtle and take down the behemoth. Going this way. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, I like that. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can... Put the twins on the bottom right. Bottom right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that was the space that I was thinking that they were going to save. But now we can just take her pretty easily with this, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't even realize I plus somehow. How did I plus? Oh, because it was seven, seven and two. two. Seven and two. Yep. Boom! Board clear! Destroyed. Give me the card I want. Card. Chocobo card. Unbelievable. That is not He's, the one I want. You're still missing right? a card from him? Yes! He, he only gives me Chocobo cards. Well, you can at least sell it for a... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how we're going to sell our ability to keep fighting this guy. <laughs> As we continue to fight Gawint. Alright, alright. Taru mid once again. As long as Just the Just follow the same plan and usually they'll uh Oh, okay, well never mind. I was mm -hmm. gonna say generally they just do the same thing, but not this time apparently. Yeah, apparently not. Yeah, that should time. be good. That should be safe. Uh put okay, wait, I have an idea. Uh -huh. Put the triple triad or the gold saucer attendant in the middle one. Uh-huh. Then they'll they'll take it back, and then you'll take it back again with the blue dragon, and you'll win. Ooh, you're right. Blue wins. Okay, this time he has to give me... Chocobo card. <laughs> Let's go in, and then go in. I've come to bargain once more. Oh, damn. He's not going to be able to start stop our opening gambit of, of uh, Taru mid at this point. Um, I mean, we could honestly just keep doing that again, but I think we could... No, we actually can't. We can take it, but... Turtle? Uh, I would go ahead and take it with the turtle. Yeah. Sure. It is very annoying for him to take back. He does have to put down resources if he wants to take it back. Um... We are probably twin mid, right? Uh, I'm afraid on, of... Put them, the twins on top. Put the twins on top, because you don't want to open up a plus. You don't want it to be the first yeah. one to have two exposed sides. Fair. Can we take okay. this? Can we take both? No, we can't. No, you can't. But I would put the triple triad attendant or Tataru. Put Tataru underneath that one. Underneath the, the bomb? Underneath the bomb, yeah. Sure. Just because now they can't take Tataru themselves. Alright. Uh, we can seven, take this. Seven. That sucks. Yeah, take that back. Yeah. And now if they can't take the turtle, they lose. They can't. Yeah, not strong enough for the turtle. And th th I'm just saying, my guy, if you want to stop the ass beatings, you just need to... Just, Pity just give fashion us the card, report. Man. Just give us the card, man. Pity fashion report still gives 10k? Oh, there you go. Get 10k just for failing. Alright, I'm going to show up with my shitty hat and see how far I can go. Wait, is the fashion report open? It's a oh, yeah, it's, a it's Monday, so the reset's tomorrow. So, yeah, fashion report's open. Okay. Do we want to put, put Blue Dragon up here? I don't think the behemoth one to kind of play kind of like. I don't uh, think. Ah, yeah, just put the blue dragon up the top. Yeah, there's no the this behemoth guy is like his best card. There's really not a lot we can do to stop it. Turtle, turtle mid. I think he's expended a lot of it. Oh, actually, no, he still has that guy open. Hmm. Actually, we can do here. He wouldn't be able to take it with his other dudes. I think. I think he's expended all his big dudes. Actually, no, he has the six one still. No, I think we should so be I fine. Think that's, I think that's good, because the 6 one is 666 six, six on the top ones. And then yeah. it's a 1 at the... Oh my god, he plussed your ass. He did. Okay. Well, I feel like... Not great. Not great. No. Uh, I feel like uh, it was going to be a lose now. Every time I think I maybe got this game down pat, it uh, confuses me <laughs> and befuddles me with... Uh, with a loss, yeah. Oh, now you lose. I, I gave. I, yeah. I want to hear your shit go in. You won one game out of five. Um, excuse <laughs> me. I have a contest to go lose. <laughs> I have some money to go make out of someone who's sad for me. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, it is in uh, not this square. Uh, I think and... I can probably transport to it. I think I've been unlocking these. I have not, based off of me fucking attuning to this. <laughs> Where is it? Um, I think it is in not not in those two. Um, I think it's in the Wonder Square. I think. I think it's either in the Wonder Square or the Event Square. I don't remember which one. Okay. There's also scratch offs, and I mean, there's plenty of ways for us to earn GP. I can just do the the the, the puzzle thing if we want to just earn more packs. I've been unlocking these literally not shut up. I don't need your sass right now. What I need you is to be here for me when I lose this contest. Oh god damn it. No, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Hey look, it's Cacnea. Now that was on purpose. There he is. That's the guy. Confirm this week's fashion. The hell? The fuck does any of this mean? Uh. It's the hints. The hints for what you need. Okay, so we need something near and far, autumn chill, more beast than man, fur and hide. Oh yeah. I think all of this, what I've right, right here... If this man says you Mexican have no fashion, I think I'm gonna have to actually file some kind of form of. Oh yeah, look at th this amazing <laughs> fashion! <laughs> I'm currently wearing I just came from the desert cheek. What the fuck? I'm gonna get the lowest score imaginable. 68 out of 80. It's pretty good. And they said I, I it couldn't be done. Look at that. <laughs> 68 on a first try, baby. It was the green beret. His fashion is awful. I don't know. He seems like he's got pretty good taste based <laughs> off of him saying I'm pretty good. <laughs> Me showing up with whatever random ass gear I found and him going, My god, where did you find this fashion? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Also, nice white family in the back. Though the father's face is kind of distorted. <laughs> kind of looking a little <laughs> slender manish. <laughs> Thank you for the f support, sir. Could not have done it without you. Alright. So, now we have 10,000. Do we want to take that 10,000 and make even more money somehow? Uh, I mean, you can, can play I other just... games. And... Can I just or you could just go and... How much does the MGP guy give you? Okay. Shit! Keep going, keep going. Fuck! <laughs> okay, so keep keep looking up. I'm, I'm, I'm just over here. Motherfucker. Yeah, look at that. Nice shot. Somehow the ones that I can't see shit on are the ones that I'm actually doing okay on. That's 20 made, baby. Oh, if you do more mini games, you'll get some from your challenge log. I think it's five mini games and winning a certain amount. Fuck. I feel like I had that one. Ignore don't look at that bar. I feel like I ha don't look at that. I feel like I had that. <laughs> don't look at the bar, but I, I feel like I had that one as well. I, I feel like I, I had that. I think the easiest one is the punch. Fuck! One. It is. This one. This one is good. Is uh, is tough, man. God damn it! <laughs> this is the most the worst display of basketball. I'm literally the zero 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 assists zero anything. I'm out of here. All right. Let's go find another one. There was gold saucer challenge log though. 
I guess I have a log, don't I? Uh, is it in the challenge log? A gold saucer. Persist, fade, and fight some gates. Chocobo races. Can we chocobo bet? Uh, no, you actually race. Oh, Baja Blast ain't ready for that yet. Alright, let me try this. Uh, you don't race your chocobo, you get you get racing ones. That you like raise and breed and stuff. I assume this one is just hit hit the big number, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go hit the big number. Nope, not a big number. But I am crushing it right now. So I thank the I thank the game for at least acknowledging me. Yeah! Look there at that! Go. Pulverizing. Smash that cacnea. That cac turn. <laughs> oh. Cacnea is also not right. I know. <laughs> senior. Whoa! Yeah, Senor Savatunder. That guy's cool as hell. Yeah, you can get an emote that does his little dance. That's amazing. This It turns out that this might actually be one of the greatest games ever made. Hold up. Wasn't there a place... Oh yeah, you can play... We can play... We can uh, torture ourselves. Yakuza's about to come out, so maybe it's a time for me to actually learn how to play Mahjong. As opposed to getting extremely angry at Mahjong. I can win in Mahjong. Easy. Look at this. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay. Um. Well, we have one, two... That means we just need the other numbers. Obviously. Uh, is when do I declare koi koi? I'm thinking of Hanafuda. Uh, okay, no, thank God these characters are on here. Mahjong gives you nightmares. Correct. I'm gonna give this up. I understand that there is being in reach and doing this. I'm gonna try and collect the characters. One. Okay. I have dots. The bamboo. I have east wind. Actually, I have a lot of decent. Uh, oh, I have the white dragon. I don't know what any of that means. You don't know what any of this means? Have you never played Mahjong? Nope. Are you uncultured and <laughs> never played I a Yakuza uncultured. game? I don't know anything about Mahjong. <laughs> I I don't know either. But you have to get like a certain. You have to get like poi something. No lerp. I've never actually learned Mahjong. There was an entire mini game we played in a game we played back in the day where you had to play Mahjong, and I never actually learned the rules of Mahjong. I just understand that it's kind of like you gather stuff together. Pawn. I'm declaring pawn because I've I've put these together. That means I'm like I'm like collecting them. I'm gonna get rid of the bamboo threes. I don't need these bamboo threes. And then, like, you can take the the stuff that people like put out. Shit, like that's what it, declaring pawn is like. Oh yeah, I need that. Let me take that from you real quick. I don't I think see. I need characters. <laughs> the local yakuza player shames others for not knowing mahjong. It's true. Um, what just happened? Did they say something funny? I'm gonna put up dots. And eventually something is gonna make me win. No. I might lose to this Moogle. I don't have anything. <laughs> the Moogle is too good at I got Chi. See look, cause I put a I got a, a two, a three, and a four. So that makes it together. I can get rid of, I don't I can't get rid of that. I can get rid of this though. I don't think I need it anymore. Dots. Get rid of dots. I don't need bamboos. I'm not collecting bamboo at the moment. Oh no! He got Ron. It means he won. Damn. Ron means you win? He, he just won from that player a whole bunch. I might be... I have to withdraw from this. I'm sorry. I just realized that I actually can't just devote this into me vaguely remembering Mahjong. <laughs> but I can talk to them and they should be able to tell the Mahjong rules. Just to see what I'm talking about. 
So, uh, you have to get a, a hand of like 14 tiles to win it. And then in the 14 tiles, it's like groups of three and four of like matching tiles. So you can see here two, three, four. This one's four, five, six. Three of a bamboo, one of these, and then two of the winds. Stuff like that. So it's like a matching game. Yeah, it's a lot of matching. Um, there's number tiles, there's honor tiles, and there's like a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, once you understand kind of the idea, it's kind of like uh, extreme poker <laughs> when you start to think of it. Like, this is how you get the straights and the triplets and the winning hands. A winning hand consists of 14 tiles that require four melds and one win matching pair. So you need to have one pair and then the rest of them go like that. So basically three threes, stuff like that, and it's easy enough. But then there's extra crazy hands that you can get, and there's also bonuses for winning with, um, without ever showing your hand. Like, obviously, when you declare pawn and chi, it's like saying, I'm taking that, but it also lets the table know how complete your hand is. But if you can win without ever saying anything, then you get, like, an extra bonus, as far as I'm aware. It's like winning, but winning bigger, <laughs> basically. I see. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's Mahjong. Maybe we'll... After I deal with Yakuza and have to play Mahjong again for Yakuza, I'll come back at a changed man. Because the Yakuza AI in Yakuza cheats at Mahjong. Those motherfuckers are able to win out of nowhere. You can see Truth's tweets about him trying to win in Mahjong, and you can see how miserable it is to play Mahjong against AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, calling Pawn Chikan also lowers the point value of your hand. That's also why you get less points and stuff like that. It's a very interesting game. It's just unfortunate every single time I've ever had to play it, I've had to play it against AI. It seems like it'd be a fun game against people. It's kind of like when you learn how to actually play dominoes. As opposed to just, like, setting up dominoes. It's fun. You know how to play dominoes? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Where am I? What is Mont Core? Is there a game here for me to play? No, just people chilling out, doing nothing. Uh, no, that's where uh, events pop up that you can play. Okay. Let's go, y'all. That's the event spear. Where was that game that I found yesterday? Maybe it was above. Maybe I need to go up to the, the second floor. Oh my god, there's so many fucking people here. Are they all here for the fancy dressing? Is that a big ass board? Oh, I guess like, I guess there's no like blackjack in this universe, right? Uh, no. Nothing that would constitute as illegal gambling. There's nothing like Red Dead Redemption's poker system. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Triple Triad is the closest, I guess. Uh, let me see about this uh, chocobo racing. Maybe there's something I could do here. There are scratch-offs. Yeah, where do you find the scratch-offs? Uh, Gray area, maybe? The, uh, go back to the main place. Okay. We finished talking to these lovely ladies. Thank you. Quest complete. I get more in Chocobo Racing. I should learn how to do that better. It's fun. Um... No, uh, you gotta... You gotta go... You gotta do your thing, I think. You gotta, yeah, there you go. Give him that. Here you go. Choose a name for your race, Chocobo. Oh, we have to find a name for him. Um, which one of these sounds the most Taco Bellish? Most Landon's Taco Bellish. Yeah, we need to. We're a, a proper place here of Taco Bell-like items. The Infinity Taco would sound like an amazing Taco Bell item, but I don't think they have taco in here. Probably not. Devil. I feel like there's something we could do. Concept? Like the concept of a burrito, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Leg Legande? Legendy? Legend? What about, what about like Angry Pepper? Is Pepper a thing in there? There might be. Let me, okay, let me... Uh, big, the big bloody, uh, the Claire, the dark, the elephant, the franche, gross, jumping, leaping, petite, passion might work, passion might work, 
petite to petite. They have two different forms of petite. How petite do you fucking need to be? Shooting. Wild, wildy, wilder. Wild. Winning. Verte. Verte Anaconda would be a great one, but I don't think they got an Anaconda in here. Uh, Ruben, Velveteen. Best blistering dunkle deep. Grande would be. Where's Grande? Did what, did I skip it? Good. I didn't see it. Grande. Oh, there it is. Grande. Okay, Grande. So, word two. This is something again. We want something here that would really maybe pop under, off. Like fauna, because like animals. Maybe there's like meat names in there. The Grande Condor only at Taco Bell. The Grande fucks? Only at- <laughs> 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 The Grande fucks only at Taco Bell, live boss. We've made it. This is great, this is- Grande fucks is now officially in! Congratulations, Grande Fox is now eligible to participate in sanctioned chocobo racing. I however feel you are not qualified to do so just yet. Damn, okay. I need to get our boy Grande in there. Um... You know, I think it's better to- training course, there we go. Commence. I don't- uh, I'm not waiting for others. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to the training course. That's a hell of a name. Ding 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 ding! That's me. I'm gonna be at advantage because I have a controller. Oh shit. Okay. He's a very tired chocobo. Okay, so if I go down here... Alright. Yeah, he seems calm. How will I know when I'm at full speed? Alright. The answer uh, is he's like me. bent down, running. Practice your steering. Ding ding ding. I'm doing the thing they want, right? The steering? <laughs> Gotta do it all the way. There we go. Magic panels? Sure. So am I racing against real people? No, not the moment. Okay. I just mean whenever we would do it. Yes. You will race real people whenever you actually go to do it. Lathered? What does that mean? Like the bird is tired, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So you gotta slow up if you want him to stop being lathered. Got you, got you. Well, some real people got you. How do I jump? No. There we go. Open a treasure coffer? Sure, I can do that. It's 
printing shoes. Oh, and then I can use this. Ah, oh, I missed that. Go, Grande fucks. <laughs> <laughs> the, the racing world is not ready there you go, for now Grande. You can dash. The racing world is just not ready for Grande Flex at the moment. It's about to sweep the storm. You heard of Silent Suzuka. Don't get ready until you've heard of Grande Flex. Gold ship. All of them. A new pantheon. Uh, so can I register, friend? I... What is this? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, so you can choose which course you want to go in, or you can just choose a random course. Okay. So I'll, I'll choose this to join. Seems like a silly thing to put in the duty registration. So is there a way for me to just, like, start it now, or do I have to actually wait? Uh, you gotta wait. Oh, okay. I guess we go off and do other things then. There, there had to have been some stuff over here from what I can remember. Go sprint real quick. Yeah, this were the these were the thing, the finer miner and. There you go. All right, commence. It's race time. She's gonna be me in there, us and Grande fucks. My the name of my autobiographical. <laughs> the maiden class. The Maiden Voyage. Alright, alright. You know, looking at these oh, other man, names- Oh that guy's name is Wonderbird. I mean, these are all good names, but I don't think any of them are really on the same level as Grande Flux. Might just be Honey personal. Bucket's pretty good. It is very good. Honestly, I feel like what is uh, Bukari water? It makes them uh, tire themselves out. Okay. It makes them like angry, and so they force themselves to sprint, so they don't like manage their stamina at all. Okay. Damn, too lathered. Have to take it easy. No, you can spend some stamina. You don't want to fall too far behind. All right, all right. I mean, how do you get back the stamina? It seemed like it never came back when I was trying it. Uh, it doesn't recover unless oh. you get an item that recovers it. Oh, okay. Got you. Coffers showing up. Okay, spider web. That slows him down. Okay, okay. Second place right now. Not bad, Grande, not bad. Salvation in there. number one. Choco Just, potion! Yeah! Restore some stamina. Not bad, not bad. Keep that speed on. He's got less stamina than you. He's gonna run out first. Go, go, go. Too afraid to look at the, uh... Oh, it's so close! It is crazy close. He's out! He's out! Go, Grande! Go, go! Ah, so oh, close! Almost. Almost could have gone in there from a succumb from behind victory. It's alright, Grande. You did fine for your first fight out there. You did also end it with exactly zero <laughs> percent eight stamina. So all of it was used. Boo, wet locket is also a very good. I got a rank up from that. Dang. All right, let's try it here. Out of the limb. Uh, yes, I think this is the one where I was able to do really good at. This one's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it's just finding it. 
Nope. Found it? Nope. Nope. Maybe up here? Yes. There we go. It's close. Nope. Should I tried to do it a little bit lower, but did not go. Alright, that's great. That's good enough for now. It's not excellent, but that works. Hell yeah, double down! I forgot that it's not exactly in the same place as always. Perfect. Great. Alright, one more time, one more time, one more time. Double down one more time. Bad. Good. Probably too far. Yeah, Somewhere in the far. middle. Oh shit. Ten seconds! Oh, come on. One more great and you got it. Oh no! Oh shit. It's gonna be close. No, I don't think I made it. No! It. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's fine. Harder. Hardest difficulty. Let's go. <laughs> That's me, baby. Let's go. This one pays really well if you get it, though. Oh. That was crazy. I felt like it was exactly the same and it still did not... Nope. Okay, somewhere in the middle. Alright, one more time, one more time. It's gonna be close. One more! Oh, you're risking a lot. Ooh, I am risking it all, actually. Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. I risked too much. You risked it too much. I, I went for the gold. You had 701 right there. Uh, could have had it all. Alright, one more time. That was the perfect one, too, because I had an excellent right from the jump go. Alright. It's good enough just to hit it here. 47 seconds, yes. Nope. Yep, good. Nope, not good enough. Shit! Apparently it's better over there? What? <laughs> I there eventually got it. Okay. I am... I show that gambling bad is bad every single day when I do a Fago video. Watch <laughs> any of true. my Fago videos to see why Simply gambling is bad. Simply don't miss. <laughs> it's true. Do I? No, not with 13 seconds. Okay, fine. I don't know, Liam. I feel like I... Mm. Alright, one more time. Aw, oh, this is easy. I say as I lose immediately. Yeah, look at this. This is like basically baby mode. After the things I was doing. Just, uh, let me hit right here. Okay, it's somewhere in there. Alright. Double down again. Not there. Boom! One more time. Double down! Oh, 400 if you get this. I know. I feel that was too close. That was also too close to where I feel failed previously. 
That was also too- What am I doing? <laughs> oh, that fucking I, I suddenly play like <laughs> shit when it matters the most. There. There it is. Take the money and run. Yep. But if I double down, I can get 500. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't able to do finer minor, I think, last time. This one, I didn't fully understand. I just had to find it somehow. So, it's it's like the other one, but the circle gets bigger and smaller instead. Oh, okay. You want to hit it, like, close to how the... Yeah, I wasn't able to figure so that out. So it's just like the thing going up and down uh -huh. on the other one, except it's the size of the circle. Oh, so I have to hit it, like, close to the circle. So when the circle gets big, so, like, hit it. Yes. And then see how there's now a cutout that shows you what the circle size you picked last time? Yeah. You're doing it, yeah, so, like, you're trying to find it that way. Okay. All right, I did it. Double down. Didn't find. Didn't find. Found. Did I lose? Yes, I did. Damn. Oh, stuff. Can't wrap my little brain around it. Alright, let's go open some packs. Hello, Triple Triad. I mean, I could also just buy some of these cards if I wanted to. Uh -huh. Is good. rolling good? Uh, let me look it up. We can get a, a, a Mithril, though. Roland is a 3278. Hmm. Well, it's either that or go for a Mithril Triad card. Let me see what's in the Mithril Triad One of card. nine extremely high rarity triple triad cards. This has Bart's Klauser, uh -huh. the Brachiosaur, Coral Regina, Gilgamesh, and Enkidu, Odin. The Onion Knight, Pippin, Tara Branford, and the Rodolfnir card. I want to go for it. All quite good. All three star or higher. We'll do it. One Mithril pack, sir. It cost a million to get Cloud. Yep. Damn. Damn. Noctis. Only to get Noctis, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know. Cloud is cloud, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You uh, you don't you don't push Cloud's popularity. No, it's true. No disrespect towards him. It's just <laughs> the way the way the world is. I forgot. I need to sell all my chocobos. The Cole Regina. Cold saucer. Uh, where is she? The middle one in the bottom row. Middle one in the bottom row. Mm -hmm. One to the left. There oh, there it is. Cool. I was I was looking for a person. That's why. Um. Okay. We can look into replacing something for this one. It's an eight five 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 five. Uh, probably the turtle is what I or the gold saucer attendant, but probably the turtle. Hmm. Because the gold saucer attendant has a six on the other side. Yeah, I'll go with this one. All right. No, save. Remember to always hit save. Then go over here. This man still has not dropped his final card, correct? Correct. Alright, we've leveled up 
a tremendous bit from last time. It's time for you to finally just give up the ghost, old man, and give us the card that we want. Uh, we're going first. We just went with the blue dragon. Yeah. Blue dragon over here. Because even if he takes it with the... He, the only thing he can take it with is the behemoth, and that it leaves the behemoth's shitty sides open. Fair. Yeah. Uh... Uh, oh, you don't have a very good down card, unfortunate. Do not. Uh, put the twins up there, I guess. Because then again, that forces him to use the behemoth so that you can take the behemoth. From Oh yeah, that's true. <gasps> but he didn't want to use not it. Not committing. Not committing not to the committing. board. It's crazy. Well, I mean, we uh, can go oh, Polygraph and actually, take the, the triple. Th this new deck is struggling against his, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, just put that there. He's playing weird, that's why. He's, uh, we expect him to immediately go for the... Put Tatar... Oh, wait, no, you can't. You can't put Tatar down there. Why not? Because he'll plus you with that with that Koblen. Oh, shit. All right. Um... Uh, put the Saucer Attendant in the middle. That was a plus? Got him. Boom. Eat shit. Please. God damn Chocobo. <laughs> another... <laughs> technically, every Chocobo is another 100. Sir, please. I need you to give up. What's the behemoth down? I think, yeah, you correctly guessed that we actually need a down card. It might actually be a good idea to replace yeah. the saucer with... With our... Someone with a good down yeah. number. Because our best downs are like 5 and 6 and stuff like that. We'll see. I mean, I guess you have the blue dragon, but we keep opening with it. Yeah, we keep, that's the thing. That's that or find a new opener. <laughs> yeah. Um. Dylan will go here. I don't think there's a way for him to... Actually, no, blue dragon will just take it. Blue, but you can then take blue dragon because it's only two on that side. It's that's fine true. to bait, that's yeah. True. Doesn't want to bait, though. But now we can just take... Oh, but he can take it with blue dragon. There's no way for us to take it back. Yeah, I don't know that I would do hmm. that. Um... Mm, maybe go Puts. here? No. Yeah, that's fine. What's the worst I can add? Plus? He plussed us. Get plus. Uh, okay. He really doesn't want to use that one just yet. Two, three, three. Two, two, three, five. We can take the Chocobo. Yeah, that's fine. That'll work. That's the only thing move that we have that won't get... He's gonna take it back. Oh, oh he double took. I, I didn't even see that coming. I didn't rip. see it. He literally held rip, on rip. to the blue dragon. All right, we need to find a card so that we can stop opening with Blue Dragon, because Blue Dragon yes. is like one of our better cards. Doi. Okay. Something with a strong down. It's Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon, obviously. Uh, oh, you might not have any strong downs. Yeah, it might be a case of just like we need a number. better opener then, which would yeah. probably be the turtle. And we can replace it with Gold Saucer. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Doi. Yeah, I think the the main thing here is to stop using the blue dragon as a starter. I always put the top up here because he usually takes it with blue dragon anyway. But I forget that he also has like behemoth and other stuff that can follow up behind it. Um, I guess we just take this with turtle. Yep. See, is there a way for us to take it if he takes it with behemoth? Oh uh, no, but he can't use behemoth to take it. So yeah, that's fine. We can use that, but with it we can use... Use Just use Tataru, use something cheap. Take the... oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. I think something he's gonna try value. and take... I'm surprised he didn't go for it. Then I would put uh, the the twins. Right here? Yeah. He's How got another it? plus! That's insane. Jesus. That's so annoying. Um, I mean, we can take these two with this guy, and he yeah, can't. He actually can't take it with Behemoth. A, yeah, it's gonna be a tie. Yeah, better than losing. Yeah, it's the pluses that always get. It's the one thing yeah, I can got never. Those hidden pluses. He does. I have to remember the other cards in his deck, but uh, that's the thing is that I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I, I forget that I can just see his card. But the MSQ does unlock some options for the main story quest. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess we can go back to the main story. Oh, I mainly just came here because uh, it was a good time to just get the die stuff. But in general, I should be going back to the main story quest. 
it would be a good idea. <laughs> listen, listen. What is any game other than its card mini game? It's true. We're just gonna take that guy. Problem is here is that I'm playing too passive. That we can take with Taru, but it's fine. He can take the Taru if he wants. He's trying to set me up here. Okay, that's a 2-5. So if I do it from the bottom, he can take back the bomb if I try and take the bomb. 2-5, two, 2-5. Five, two, five. Okay, from 5 from side, so he can't take that. So I have to play something with... You have to play this here. So that he doesn't take everything from me. I think. Yes! As soon as I realized the gold saucer existed, I got stuck here for weeks. Fair enough, I, we would. <laughs> yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, man, this guy does not. Okay, you know what? We are gonna come back here, Gawent, and I will get you to yeah, drop that last egg. That last egg. a real asshole about it. Oh, open tournament is open. Was it? Was I literally okay. here that long? Yeah. Okay. So this is a draft tournament. Okay, after You'll this... You'll play against other players and uh, ro robots. Oh, okay, okay. After this, I swear we'll go back to doing what we were doing, <laughs> which was main story things. But now or I wanted to try and... you can enter the open tournament again, because it keeps going for a half hour. Does it keep going? I mean, now... Yeah. Do you expect me to lose immediately? No, but usually there's enough time once you get in to get at least two out of the way. You get a good amount of MGP for doing it, plus you get cards, so it's a pretty good investment if you actually want to get the cards. Same and plus are gross rules. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like same and plus. Well, we're going to have to deal with both of them. So, do we, can I just do other stuff while I wait? Is it yep. similar to the It's just a queue, just like anything else. You can just okay. play somebody else if you want to. King Elmer has a four-star card you can win, but he's probably pretty hard to play against. I mean... But you can get Bahamut from him. I ain't afraid of no king. I didn't vote for him. Show me what you got, King Elmer. I don't think a single card in my deck can beat that play. Nope. Uh, put the Taru in the middle. No, the middle, middle. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> I realized eventually <laughs> what was going on. Um. Get him with the blue dragon. There we go. Then he can take the blue dragon if he wants. He took the Taru. But he did it with a he did it with a one. It's he's crazy. An idiot. Unless he's setting me up for some crazy shit. What the fuck is this? Seven. Okay. Um. We actually you funny enough can. Cannot... You just gotta pick if you think he uh has a stronger card on the top or the bottom. I think I'm gonna go for. I would put it in the middle because he's a plus. He's got a, it's a plus. So if he plays uh, something that, god. oh my god, it's Bahamut. There's the oh, it's a five star card. Yeah, you gotta get that Bahamut off him. His deck is just three or higher cards. Oh damn. You know what, King? I think you win that one. <laughs> but I had to see it. I had to see it for myself. You lady, let's go. Surely. Some of you have to have other cards. Yeah, this girl, she's still rocking the Moogle. And something called a Mimaroon. The fuck is this? The ultimate weapon. Oh, I have to- I'm forced to use Blue Dragon. Okay, because it's order. Yeah, you have to play in the order that's played. Uh, I commence. guess I, I- Yeah, commence. I just lose that game then. Sorry. GG. We'll never know how it would have ended. Why does this seem like an illegal gambling den? <laughs> like, the, the the way you would lose in here is that you get killed off. Up. You know, as the only girl here not in a bunny costume, I feel kind of left out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you can get that bunny costume, actually. Oh, you can? Yeah, you can buy it. That's hilarious. Draft plus same. Okay. Yeah, so you now you draft the cards that you want. You okay. pick two sets of two, and then the final closer one at the bottom. So how are we looking? How are we... 
So because it's same and uh, plus, uh -huh. it's usually worth picking ones that have multiples of the same around the sides. Hmm. So okay. like the, I, th I like the either the middle one or the right one for that top row. For the top row, this one or the right? I like this one because this one has a frog. Okay. And you said this one will follow so the rules that we got? It. Okay. Yeah. Then next. And then go down to the middle row and choose your two from the middle row. Okay, which would be good here? There's our buddy, Sad Depressed Man. Yeah. So there's the, the other two have A's. Uh, is oh. that Gilgamesh? Also, I, I kind of like the middle one the most here. But yeah. Do we have a strong down? I have. I'll, I'll go with the middle. They'll never know my true identity with that mask on. It's true. I'm, I'm and hidden. And then you choose the bottom one. Hmm. Which one fits best here because of the rules we've got here? Uh, uh, either the middle one or the right one. Actually, the left one's kind of good because it's they're all one off of one another. So it's easier to get pluses that way. But hmm. you need a strong down the most. So maybe take the far right one because that's the eight at the bottom. Yeah, fair. Yeah, you're right. I am kind of... Oh, if you hit recommended, it will change it. Oh, <laughs> you shit. gotta redo them again. Uh, this one and here. And then hit confirm. Yeah, okay. It's just like after actual draft night. You... Oh, shit. What did I press? Oh, this one has to be a bot. There's no way someone's actually named Wild yeah, Red Green Hands alive. Yeah, you can play this person in the, um, in the gold. The saucer. Okay. Uh, we want to deal with this now. Um, you can't, you can't take the card, so you can either play an easy one to, like, defend, or you can try to set up some pluses later on. I think an easy defend is, would be good right now. Because I don't know what they got. So maybe go in... Maybe go in here for this one. No, oh, actually here. Uh, here. that could work. Here. Yeah. Why not? We'll go here. Fuck it. Oh, it's Ruby Kant. Okay. Ruby Kant so now, do we have anything that is too higher on the top than on the right? I'm not. Gilgamesh, sure. I think. If A counts as ten, which I don't remember if it does or not, then Gilgamesh will do it. Put Gilgamesh on the bottom right, because we'll take them both anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's a plus. All it's right, a for plus. future reference, A counts as 10. Got you. All right, okay, now, now we... do we have anything that's one? No, we don't. Um, just put the frog in the bottom left. Like, ah, that's dangerous, too. It's scary right now because of plus, and you don't know what they've got. It's true. It's I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go with um, frog down here. Damn it. Um, Can we take any? I guess the, the best we can do is go here. Wait, wait. Can you plus in the middle there? Can no, you I? can't. Yeah, I guess you got to just... Play the bat, yeah, and hope that they, they don't plus you hard. Nope, draw. A draw. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was tough. Yeah, the 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 problem was not knowing what their cards were, so I had no idea if they had the ability to just take us right there. It was a gamble. Damn. I have to remember that, yeah, these guys will likely have good cards. Yeah, because it's all a draft. Yeah. You Balak should. Zilton is, uh, take it first. They are right capture. Everyone else drew. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, alright. Second place. Tied with second with, um, man, that guy in eighth place must be feeling bad. <laughs> All right, we got first place. We got six people in second, and you're in eighth. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, this is a human. A human player right here. Oh, man. All right. Who's, uh, size up. This isn't a fellow Dragoon player. We have to send him to the Shadow Realm, if possible. Because he's the ambitious angler. All right, we're in red. And right, he's going first. Okay, okay. He's got the great Azuro. 
baiting us. Clear bait. Okay, so he's doing the he's doing the the middle play. So that mm. forces the uh, there to be pluses and sames available almost all the time. So I would take it with something that's pretty thorough away, like the the grass man or the frog, but mostly Actually, the this, grass man. I'm gonna play it on his cards. There we go. You can take the two. He's not gonna think of this because he doesn't realize. Oh my god, he put toots all over. What is he thinking? Not realizing I didn't know what I just did. All right, let's see. So seven and one. So we would need a very high one on the top and a very low one on the right, which we don't have. Um, this would technically win it, but we can take. We can just take you back. You could also green just guy. take it. Yeah, you could also just take the green guy back, and then that's that's a good move because once you take the green guy, he can't take it again because it's it's completely walled off. Yeah. Do we take it with the frog or with the? No. Yeah. Just use the frog. Don't don't use a, a high value card. Use a low gotcha. value. And what we want to do is keep that bottom middle one open so that you can take it with uh, Yojimbo and get yeah. a double, or I get that that guy. Yep, Hopefully yep. he flips um, a zero and you can double flip. Yes, that's what we're doing he right did. here. Now you can also take Pippin with either of your cards too. So pretty good situation. Pretty sick. Uh, so do we want to go Rubicon? Uh... uh a seven. So that's not mathin'. Neither one's mathin. Um, I oh man, that's tough. So you either play Ruby Conte and or play the Bat Squatch on the top. Those are your two choices. Oh, play the Bat Squatch on the top because it'll take Pippin and you'll have another card up. Oh shit, you're there right. You now you just gotta hope he can't plus or same you here. Red wins. Let's go. Red wins. Woo, 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 woo. Mexican pizza number one. That's right. You lost to Mexican pizza. Feel right about it. Let's go. Oh man. R4, the three clubs? Your character data? No, I can't right now. Who other one? Who are who else are we here in? Because now we're officially in second place unless the other guy lost. <gasps> we're in first place. Tied for first. Oh, this is a bot. Okay, this is potentially yep. very dangerous because <laughs> it seems like the so bots. The thing here, though, is if because you're playing a bot, if you beat the bot and the other human player loses, uh huh, um, you'll you'll have the the point edge. Oh, you really? just need the guy who won round one to lose here. Got you, got you. Okay. Man, I love open tournaments. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this isn't impossible. We just need to set up a plus for this. All right. So How do we want to set go up? Go ahead a plus? and just throw just throw a bait in the middle. Just throw the little the little man. This guy right here. Flower basket. Yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, take the flower basket back with the frog. Okay. Go on this side. Um. Yeah. takes it back okay okay so now you can just put put someone cheap down in the bottom right here that squash is fine uh no in the closed off bottom so that they so it's not under threat this one right here yep okay, okay. now you can was it seven eight seven seven I mean, uh, we you can take it with you can take either one I would take uh, Titan with Yojimbo because it's just a higher, higher play he has to make now. Ooh, it's a plus. plus! I forgot it's plus. Yeah. Son of a bitch. It's all right. It was a draw. As long as it was a four-way draw, so no one wins. <laughs> well, no, because everyone will get points from the draw. So the uh, guy that yes. or no, you might tie with the guy that that won yeah. the first game if he didn't win in the second game. No, we all we all draw. <laughs> there was no changing in the standings. Unless there's another game. There you go. Triple tie for first, but you're the only human who got first. The other two are bots. Hell yeah, baby. Mexican so pizza some, number one. Some decent uh GP and some packs. Decent, decent. And a gold triad card. Let's go. Open and shut. Leave. Thank you, player. 
Because it turns out that the hardest dudes to fight are the ones that are not bots. <laughs> the ones, uh, the Mother Myoni card? We'll take that. Mother Mune. Mother Mune. I refuse to sell those. That is an unfortunate those. gold triad card. <laughs> That's a very unfortunate one. Is it? Yeah. Let me see. I mean, it's just a, like a three or a two star. It just sucks to get those out of a gold. She's down there in the bottom right. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. You have enough time to get into another one, though, if you head back over there. Hmm. All right, one more time. See? It's still open. And now there's more people here. Sign up one more time, please. Can I name my hatchling bunny? No. No? It's a shame. You are gonna- you would be named after a Taco Bell menu item, but unfortunately, the game will not allow me to. Sad state of affairs. The Triple Triad Master. I bet he's really good. Yeah, that squall opened up with double A was insane. This is <laughs> yeah, very hard. Really very hard to take it. I had never seen a card with two A's on him before. A lot of the other Final Fantasy Protag cards are very good. I mean, it makes sense. Why wouldn't you make your protagonist one of the better cards? Unless it's like an unpopular protagonist. It's like the, yeah, the kid from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. One star. Yeah. The, 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 the Final Fantasy kid who is technically not a Final Fantasy one because they just slap the name Final Fantasy onto Mystic Quest. Sick ops. Wow. Damn. Might as well go over here. See what other things are on exchange besides... Oh, I guess you're something that I can't use right now. Price claim? Oh, go to the mini cact pot broker. Uh, okay. Talk to him and you can do three scratch off tickets a day. <gasps> yes. Okay. Uh, middle? Nope. I guess nothing. Well, now you pick the, the what you want to what you want to keep. You get to see and then pick, and then the prize values are on the side there. So I think six, seven, eight. I think is eighteen hundred. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, it's ten eighty. Okay, math is hard. Sure. Uh, was there? That's still pretty good. Yeah. Was there a higher number value there? No, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, no, it looks like we got the highest one possible. Just by complete happenstance. Another one, more. please. Shit. Just hit wait. Uh, yeah, wait. And then do the card and then do it. Okay, we'll go down the middle real quick. Um. Do the do the two and nothing else, because if it's one, two, three, it's ten thousand. Okay. 72. Worth a shot. Alright. Uh, now you can take the tournament. Okay, how do I go there? Uh, hit the middle button. There you go. Commence. commence. Excuse me, everyone. I was scratching lotto tickets. I am now here to this dangerous game that we call Triple Triad. I kind of look like one of the pirates from the Game Boy Advance version of uh, Fire Emblem. With that green beret. Draft plus same. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um. 
Mm. Well, we got you know, all three of these middle ones have someone with an A on it, at least. Yeah. Alright, so the top... Ah, I really like the right on the this, top. This one right here? Yeah, because the 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah. Uh, in the middle, they're all pretty good. Um, I think I like the right one again, just because the the strong one complements the other strong one, because it's strong up down instead of side to side. Mm -hmm. um, These last and ones. And then I like the hippo because it's a hippo. Fair. Hippos are cool. You're gonna hit recommend. I hit again recommend. And but it's okay, because my recommend was the thing that they said oh, to you. Right. Go, the go, recommended go, go, go. was what we already picked. All right, Yeah. Right. Brain. Sometime no think. Looks like another all computer ones, likely. That's fine with me. We can beat these computers, or we can all draw trying. Okay. Um, how oh, you can we... take that with the hippo. <laughs> I guess yes, we can. Just go right there. Nice A. When you take their five star with a one star. Yes, it is. You can take that with your two star. Oh, yeah, from up above, right, right here. Yep. In shambles. Mm. You can put him right there if you want to be an asshole to take a one star with a five, but it will make the corner untakeable. That's fair. I think we just put one of our dudes here. I think it's fine to put... Actually, we put him here, because now that we have all nines there, it's probably best to put him there. Oh, good idea, because you're playing up. Now you can take both of those with the, your good guy in the upper corner. Yep. Hell yeah. Hippo was the turning point of it all. Thank you for cheering my victory. Points two, captures three. Do, oh, they keep track of how many captures you do? Yeah, it's the tiebreaker. Gotcha. So that means there's currently two people tied for first, then. Oh, no. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Tell me your name, sir. Gootwint of the three diamonds. No it's way. Oh, it keeps dropping the cards. Oh, man. I swear, if he plays a Chocobo on me, <laughs> we're never recovering for this Gwent. <laughs> or Gutwint. This play seems very familiar to me. Okay, can we take this from a... plus? No, probably not at the moment. Uh, how do we want to go from here? Hmm... I feel like throwing out the hippo, maybe? Yeah, you could drop the hippo. Why not? Where where would we put the hippo? Uh, put it in the middle, just so you can easily take it back whenever they take it later. <gasps> hippo on hippo. They also hippo. have the hippo. That's crazy. Uh, mm. You can play your three star and take the upper hippo. Put it right here. Yeah. Oh, oh God, he has like the same We have you the do. same deck, okay. Uh, I guess I would put the two star to the side of the hippo. Or maybe I would put the A. Maybe I would put the A. Because it's, it's right here. side to side isn't really all that good either. Yeah. Now take the two side with, with nail. Right here? Yeah. And he can't take it, so. Woo! W. Eat shit! Come back here when you have more than just chocobo cards. PS4 controller constantly losing <laughs> its ability to stay on. He can't handle all this sick, sick plays right now. I can't believe he was also tied for first. That's hilarious. But now because I have the captures, I'm beating out Arthur into the three clubs. So now we just need to beat this guy. Yep. Easy. Easy first. Easy first. You already beat him once, didn't you? I feel like we did. But now he might be coming back for the salty run back, so let's not underestimate him. You have the tiebreaker right now, so if you two draw, you'll still win. It's true. 
All right, let's see what his first play is. A and a seven. You could take it if you want. I would. It's risky. Gonna... It's too risky. I, I would want him yeah. to play maybe somewhere in the mid. Do you think if I put the hippo here, I could convince him to? Oh, but it had to. It would have Probably. to be five. Hmm. Since this is already un unbeatable from here, I think I can just go here with Hippo. What do you think? That's fine. That's hilarious, but okay. Um, do we have something? Oh uh, no, that's fine. Put your put your five there to take his five, and then you're the only side that's exposed is the untakeable one. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Took my Hippo. Uh Okay. That's next. Tough. Uh maybe here? Do we have a do we have anything that matches the two side? No, we don't. Damn. We can take this back for with him later on, but if we do it too early then we lose him. So I feel like this probably is our best go for right now. Cuz I don't think he has something that can beat an 8. I'm gonna go here. He plussed oh, yeah, it's with... a plus. That's a, a, a... You got plussed. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, this is unfortunate. So we can go here. Almost guaranteed he has something that beats a three, or we can go here. Yes. I mean, I, I would go there just because it takes a higher card, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully that there's no big crazy play. Yeah, he would have uh, taken it either way. Damn. At the end there. But the other thing is, no one really ever... It's still second place, I guess. Yeah, the the hippo, the plus, I didn't think about that going forward. Dang. Boo! But we still got some winnings. Two gold got. cards, though. We got more than we got last time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we Pop won. Two. Open. Yeah, probably because we we uh, we won two. Okay, gold card. Magic Batter on. Ten fingers. I think we already got that one. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. All right. Okay, let's see. Is there anything related to one that's big? No. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Gets you 10k. I, I would go above or below the one just to see. No. Okay. Fuck. Try one of the bottom one. Or try the bottom right corner just so you can see like two different potential rows. All right. So now you choose if you think which one of those might be nine, seven, eight. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, mm. neither one was nine, seven, eight. You had no shot. It's fine. As long as I wasn't fully losing, it's not that bad. Okay. I'm gonna go sell off my Tendrigal Badfinger, or whatever his name is. Uh, you're running away from the person to do that with. I'm not. She's they right are. there. Oh, I guess there's a traitor in there. There's one of that other counter team. Oops. Uh, yep. Both of these. Here you go. Uh, Roland. Hey, we can get another <laughs> mithril pack. <laughs> and then we'll leave. How much did we get? God damn, we were in here for a while. We still have 3,000 to spare. That's crazy. Alright, I'll hold on to that for now. We re I can understand why you could just get lost in here now. Gilgamesh and Inkidu. Everyone's favorite Fago pairing, also here in Final Fantasy. Uh, it's in two. There he is. Gilgamesh and Inkidu. And then the other one here. Which is called Reg Regina. 
All right. I mean, we can actually use this guy in our deck because we needed a stronger yeah. bottom one. Uh, but who to replace, though? Uh, I can probably replace Tataru because it's got a, a better upper number than her and also has a good lower number. Uh, goodbye, Taru, for now. We'll keep that. Save. And then I will remember that there is a main story currently going on. Do I need to go back to... Okay. <laughs> uh, that place I left, I maybe have to go back. <laughs> Alright. Using one of my special envelopes. Leaving the gambling parlor. So weird being on the outside world. What is this guy's fucking shirt? That's great. Is it a, is that a Fall Guy shirt? Yep, there was a Fall Guys crossover. This guy is dripped out of his mind. <laughs> I respect it. Absolute legend. Absolute cosmic puff. He's getting it. He understands how to play this game. Where the fuck did all you people show up? Really, there was not that many people here last I was here. Back to the waking sands. Am I close to my next dungeon, or am I still far off? I was actually surprised when those dudes, shirtless dudes, did not give me a dungeon of some kind to do. I thought I would have had to beat their god, but we are not doing that at the moment. Scary masked one. Alright. Back to Grindania. How far away are we from it? Decent. Immediate teleport. I just realized someone's name was Spearmint Gum. Finally, more of my people. <laughs> oh my god, it's him. Bro. <laughs> what What's going on, bro? <laughs> was you good? I, I don't know. I, I'm starting to feel like we have to end the stream soon. So I, can't, I don't think I can take it if I warp one more time and uh, that guy's there. I'm not hitting That's on so him. Funny. He what just, was he doing there? I don't know. Majima. He's Majima everywhere. Merdroid is clearly traumatized. Perhaps if you were to sue him, he might remain calm. I got your... I got, I got an emote at him. Check this out, guy. No, this you is Soothe Your Soul? The, the emote is called Soothe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mandroid is clearly traumatized. Stop playing around. Give him the soup command. Alright, alright. You don't want no hug? Pay respects. Shoutouts to your mom. Where is Soothe? Way quicker to just type slash smooth soothe, I guess. There it slash is. Slash soothe, yeah, that works too. I feel like that was more condescending than the dance. a lot to take into account very quickly. See, he's better now.
Did I say Zaid so ridiculous? No, Ziz is ridiculous. I just uh, saw Zaid's name. <laughs> Slay Ziz? Let's go. Are you sure? This has to be someone. I refuse to believe that this snowman is not just following me at every given single step. Alright, moving on. Come on, Baja Bless. Maybe if I stopped walking. There we go. What's a Ziz? A Ziz is a big ass bird. We're gonna accuse a big ass bird of murder? Yes. I don't think it's sentient enough to understand what a, a murder is. I think a bird will just go like, I guess... I guess, yeah, I guess I did kill whatever you were just talking about. Oh, I know what this is. is. I guess I have to fight the scorpion now by accident. Oops, it's fine. We just get all my buffs up. Whoop -ow. Kill Ziz. That has like a Godzilla roar. Well, a dinosaur roar. Not really a Godzilla one. That would be terrifying if it had a Godzilla-like roar. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty ter pretty uh, horrifying. <laughs> These things are already pretty gross looking. Yeah, I'll need that also in my life. Ah, damn. Every minute that I'm not backflipping on these dudes, I was almost about to start beef with that <laughs> balloon for no reason, thinking that it was the Ziz. Alright, die Ziz. I did it. I've avenged them. I'm just like the Avengers 2020. 12. Wait, no. I may have. <laughs> may have fucked up. The numbering. Side here. Bad chuckle bow. Rock of the Rancor? Are we gonna fight a Rancor? <laughs> In the Rancor pit. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wigs and. Uh, we do have Yoda in here. They'll all be there. This guy also part of the main story class. Seeing yep. eyes of the winged one. That's okay. That's weird. What? How? How does that work out? Oh, I guess we have to do both of them, right? <laughs> then that's what that means. I should be doing both of these quests. Yes. Okay. Hmm. What now, boy? So what if you found out that... I, that would be an insane reveal if that snowman was someone I knew the entire time. I'm half convinced it might be Toast. But it, I've been told it was not Toast. The the showing up in Gridania feels 
scripted. Okay, he left. All right. Okay. I'm not saying that it's possible that Mr. Snowman might be someone here, but it also would be hilarious if it wasn't. And I've just been <laughs> freaking out over nothing. It's weird. Maybe, maybe there's a dude here who's just dedicated his life to showing up as a snowman, and he shows up in specifically his places. Hey, buddy. Because it just feels like I don't know. Maybe I'm being paranoid. I could very easily be paranoid. <laughs> as soon as I uh, close the stream, that's when I'm going to be found by a snowman. IRL. That'd be sad, because now Zen would have to find someone else to watch a bunch of Gintama with him. <laughs> so it'd be very in it'd be very inconvenient if I got killed by a snowman. I'll just say it right now. <laughs> there was no snow? That's why no one would suspect it. Uh, throw the sire stand stick. What? What? What you want me to do here, my my guy? Well, why can't I do anything here? Am I stupid? I can't for some reason target it here. I guess this isn't the right. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. This is the one of the other places I could have investigated. Alright, back. Back to Aldane. Or Aldine. Aiden? Oh no, I'm going to Ivorot. Ivorot? Let's go. Alright, now we're gonna go fight the Rancor. Yeah, that's where the Rancor one was, but we couldn't do it just yet because we needed to do this, I guess. Which makes sense. Maybe it was only like one story quest. I've never had it where there was two active story quests at the same time. Ding, ding, boom, boom, ba -ding, ding, ding, ding. What do I have to do here? I don't know what to do here. What's it asking you to do? It's saying throw fire rock stick at the rock. What Go rock? to your inventory. Okay. And then go to your key items. How do I go to key items? Just right Keep here. Keep going. One more. There you go. Now find that fire sand, whatever the hell. Click it. 
and then move that until it's orange on top of the glowy thing. There you go. Oh, you have to actually legitimately... Okay. Never had to do that before. <laughs> Alright, let's now gather some crystal. That might be why I was so confused. Some good old humming. Pick up the humming crystal. Alright. Return to the Chocobo music because it disappeared with the rain. Trouble there, but we got it at the end. Okay. More just trouble with the death of a new. Fancy cutscene. It's all up to me now. Is, uh, is the rain cycle uh, is like always raining here? Or is it just random? It's random. There's oh. weather in every area. Okay. Oh god. No time for a fade thingy. Stupid rock. Have you seen, uh, Zen? I've seen that you've gotten some back into at least Stone Cold wrestling. Have you seen the look of Stone Cold's face in the new in the new game? <laughs> the, the, the trailer uh, they the just AI released? The AI Stone Cold? I've seen that, if that's what you mean. It looks a lot like it's an AI Stone Cold. It's not? I've seen people actually call it AI Stone Cold. It looks like it's AI, but I don't know. Those people have never been very good at making, like... They're very bad at making, like... The, the, some people get more attention than others, is what I'll say. Like, John Cena, he always looks exactly like John Cena. But then you do something like, they'll add in, like, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and it's like, this does not look like Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Or they'll do Kurt Angle, and it's like, here's Kurt Angle from 20 years ago, and he looks exactly like he does today. It's like, oh, okay, so... It's the cover stars are the ones you care about making look right. But then others look like complete shit. 
That's so funny. It is. So the Stone Cold one and then the, the, the Hulk Hogan one look really bad. I remember seeing it and I was like, holy shit, this looks terrible. But it's it really is kind of like dependent on... It, like, it seems like the ones who are active wrestlers who actually do the mocap for them, those are the ones that usually end up looking good. Like, they're not getting Stone Cold to put on a fucking mocap suit and <laughs> put, do all that. I guess they're not asking Stone Cold. He's too busy playing Breath of the Wild to really go out there and do anything. Yeah, didn't he say that he loved that game? That's so funny. He does. There's that clip of when uh, he's telling Cody, he's like, best uh, Zelda game. And he, I think he said, I think Stone Cold says, he said, he, yeah, he says, Ocarina of Time is like Breath of the Wild. And he goes, no. And then Stone Cold gives him a death look. I need to find that clip again because it's so funny. But yeah, he really loves Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, my brother has it saved because we've mentioned that video so many times. <laughs> yeah. Whenever we're, um... Anytime we bring up Stone Cold, we figure out a way to bring back how much he loves Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Oh, then, then someone did an edit where they put Breath of the Wild footage over him, what looks like a TV, so it looks like he's playing it. <laughs> it's really funny. Alright, we found that dead woman's body. And my mount speed went up. Everyone won here except for the woman. Oh, this is a new Gardenia. Save myself a dollar eighty. There's always a lot of people sitting here, too. I wonder why. Are they RPNs, then? Is this what it looks like? Uh, yeah. Am I intruding? I know, that, they're all dressed up. It might be like there was a musical performance or something earlier. Oh, okay. I'm not... <laughs> I was like, I'm not in breaking immersion by showing up with the name Mexican Pizza. There's no Mexicans in... <laughs> There's plenty of, uh, of people with names like that. Fair enough. <laughs> Who's our closest? Cactar. Cactar is our most closest representation. <laughs> it's true, just like Ludicolo is our number one re <laughs> representation in, uh, in, um, in Pokemon. Oh, what's going on? Trying to save this link to you without accidentally playing it on. There we go. Oh yeah, that's the one where he says that Breath of the Wild is his favorite thing, right? Yes, that's the one. Just to show that it's re it's the it's the weirdest statement that's ever come out of Stone Cold's mouth. Uh, where do I go from here? I gotta go back. Oh, gotta go back all the way over there. Why is it that they constantly... Hello there. I, ho I hope A Realm Reborn hasn't driven you insane yet. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't. Uh, other th unless you count the, uh, the snowman as driving me insane. <laughs> but it's really more self-brought upon insanity. Lucky Bad Star, Gene Erbicide, Mexican Pizza. Okay, who needs... you need me. Good evening to you, Mexican! By your grim expression, I suspect you aren't here for scones and herb tea. <laughs> From inspection, I can tell you're very Mexican right now. I need you to tone it down just a little bit. Oh my god. I need a little bit less Ariba in your step and a little more pep. <laughs> Again, 
the views of these people are ones that I'm making jokes for. They're not. <laughs> they would never say that themselves, I think. Cool. I'm really glad we went back here. God damn it. Controller, don't freak out on me right now. Okay. Okay, go back up here. Shit. I activated some kind of uh, mirror force on me. It's fine. Hello, Bernadetta. Find the button owner. Please. Okay, where to now? Oh, Lancer Guild? That's easy. I know where that is. It's where I used to hang out all the time. Had a buddy. Went mad with power. Fell down a cliff. Did nothing to save him. He wasn't brain damaged. He was, like, going through it. He was going through his Joker arc, and unfortunately there was no one there to stop him. There was no Batman to his Joker, and a lone Joker is just a sad individual. I don't know, maybe he lived. Maybe I'll see him later in the Dragoon quest. He fell down a cliff. That doesn't mean he's dead. Maybe he took no fall damage. There's Clive's sword from Final Fantasy 16. I did not need to go inside here. I just need to talk to the person outside it. Button? Button. Onward. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, Gridania's like that. <laughs> Very weirdly built with all its, like, fucking trees and shit. I come from here. I was born here. And that's why I don't live here anymore, and I went with the desert people. Hate this place. Hate returning here. Still set it as my waypoint, because I come back here often enough. Because <laughs> of the Lancer stuff. Hello, sad benchman. Do you know this button? That's my wife's button. Oh, her face wasn't marred by any way. You got it, bro. Tell me what happened to your lady. Skeletons in her closet? I think this is where a dungeon's gonna be. You look like you were once a manservant. It's because of the fancy way you're dressed. You can't turn that off. <laughs> yes, come back to A Realm Reborn as Cody Rhodes and try and finish the story. <laughs> the thing that... <laughs> Get there. I mean, th it seems very easy to actually get through these missions in A Realm Reborn. I thought that I would have to do every single quest that I saw, and I saw, oh wait, I can just save that for the other quests. Down most they did. Apparently I saw that it, it used to be that you had to get Marauder to level 15 to get um, Dragoon. And now you don't have to anymore. Which was great for me, because it just meant that I could just focus down on <laughs> the Lancer. I think actually when I first played Final Fantasy XIV way back in the day, it, that was still the case where you had to spec into to get into the class, but then they must have changed that at some point. Skeletons in her closet. Do I have the unlock for here? I do! Let's go! They have made it faster multiple times with no clue when or at which point. Yeah, that's fair. I, like, I don't need... <laughs> Actually, does the would Stout knows then? I assume because he has so much um, 
he makes so much videos on Final Fantasy XIV, I actually just assumed <laughs> he would know absolutely everything. <laughs> he might. Yeah, I was, like, seeing that he had, like, looked into the, um... The the, the Final Fantasy XIV original version that apparently some people are still running somehow. Like, a long time ago. I yeah, should... like, the, cla the private, but like, WoW Classic or whatever. Yeah, kind of like that. So he might actually know, like, actual... When did this change on specific days? But for the average person, I don't expect them to remember. <laughs> that happened so many years ago. Only people who, like, dedicate their lives to making videos, I would expect to know. Yeah. I keep accidentally coming over here. Yeah, no, this is the right way. Excuse me, sir. This is the guy who wants to die. I remember that. Oh, that person wants to play cards, too. Hold up. Let me see what your deck is, lady. Show me your deck. All right, she's going first. What does this mean? Oh no! Ascension chaos. Oh, we're so on. We're so, it's so over. It's not even funny. I was so unprepared for any of this. Uh, I'm just gonna do my best. Is there any way for me to take those? There is zero way for me to take those. Because uh, these guys keep getting plus. more powered as time goes on. Yeah, because it's ascension rules. I oh. oh! I somehow accidentally did that. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> let's go! You should have given me a card. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to leave, though. I'm going to take that win. That's totally when, like, a jank deck just accidentally beats you. <laughs> Feel that. Lightning strike. Spooky cave. I should not be here. Tell him my chocobo. Are you sure we're going the right direction? My chocobo taxi. Everyone be cool and please don't hit me. I know I'm technically four levels ahead of you. Manor gate. The Hawkow Manor now accessible. Oh, Hawk Manor. That's a good one. I like that one. Right. Uh, I guess I can just play with the NPCs. I don't know how long it's gonna take for other people to show up. So I can just go in here with these NPC dudes. I can trust them. Cyan Marauder, Conjurer, and Tharmatoge. Commence. The late party. Ooh. This is cool. I like spooky mansion type stuff. Um, all right. You're right, Conjurer. Dark forces are at work here. <laughs> you can tell by the spooky music. Uh, they're right, yes. All right, well, you guys already started the party, so we're just going to fight these guys, I guess. No one really had a say in any of this. <laughs> but... Is that a lady? It might be. She looked vaguely lady-shaped before she died. Well, she's a maidservant, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. 
Carpet Stain. It's a great name. I should get out of the way of that. Never mind. Didn't need to get out of the way of that. Uppercut. Big buff. Alright, there's a key. Looks like my guy was right when he said, hey, there might be something here. I should be paying more attention to the party chat. I did not know that these dudes talked. I thought they were just NPCs. No, they'll talk. They were probably the ones that were telling me when Ifrit was doing his, like, instant kill move. Because I wasn't paying attention and was not helping kill the thing <laughs> that you're supposed to. And so I, I, I wiped right there. I was like, ah, I should probably pay a little bit more attention to my surroundings. This is a strong ass bat. Yeah, that bat is swole. He is. This is harder than a lot of the foes that I fought so far. <laughs> That's why that that attic bat was stronger than some of the bosses I fought. That says manor wench. No manor waiting. I just assumed that she was a wench. Nice try. Silly bat women. So do those uh, paladin dudes have skills that just automatically get aggro put on them? Yeah. Okay, that would explain it. So I was wondering, I was like, these dudes usually typically want to fight me, but when he's around, they don't do that. So it has to be something built into his skills. So I'm typically the first one out there. Yeah, they all have, well, pa like, tanks in general gain increased aggro, just like their moves do more aggro than other people's. Mm. Um, and then they have moves also that, like, can provoke enemies onto them and stuff. Well, that makes sense. Locked door. Do we use the tiny key on the door? But just more tiny keys. I feel like I wasted a tiny key. But maybe this is the only way in here. Now that I look here. Uppercut! Pick up the tiny key. Unlock with the tiny key. <laughs> Divin Divin Mold. Okay. Uppercut the bat. Oh, there's a treasure here. see what's in here fine wax not really what I would have wanted even though I don't know what that is oh god I wasn't targeting anything. 
There we go. I remember to use the stun. <laughs> For the first time in how many hours we've been going. <laughs> first stun listen, in the video. Listen, it's a process. <laughs> To be fair, I haven't really needed it, it's just that, like, it's more annoying for me to actually dodge this, so I'm just gonna stun you. Tiny key! Yay! So many tiny keys, but no green key. Did I just go in a giant circle? No. That has to be where I have to go next. Because it has a little, uh, <laughs> fog gate in front of it. gigantic guy. Oh god, this guy, this lady has a lot of health. Please die quicker, bat lady. Or manor clav clavager. Yay! Green key found. Give me that Cree. Pick it up or corpse. Corpse goes away. Manor field dressing. Oops. Don't know what I was looking at. Alright. Next floor. I assume for this one I'll need some other form of key. That's the exit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, you gotta, okay, go back to the room that you were just in. Alright. Do I gotta go this way, which I hadn't explored yet? Or through this ivy door, maybe? Uh, yeah, through the ivy door. So simple. Weird that the music stops. It. I'll just in here alone. The tiny key. Let me pick it up. Image. 
Oh, I love these dudes because they're just skeletons. <laughs> This is great because they're not even like a stylized skeleton, they're just actually a skeleton. I also like how some of the enemies are just bugs that you're just like hitting with a spear and it's working. <laughs> it's true. It's also, these are some of the strongest bugs you've ever seen in your life. And they're stronger than some of the dudes that I've had to fight. They're, not, they're stronger than some of the bosses I've had to start at the beginning of the game. <laughs> This corpse fly will ab would absolutely ruin their shit. Don't die on me, controller. There we go. Pick up the tiny key. Even though I have a lot of tiny keys. Carnation door. This is where I'll need the yellow key, I bet. Yep. These dudes a little bit more. Punch him in the face. Oh, that lady had followed us all the way here. I, I love even... that, just a kick. <laughs> just a solid kick. <laughs> it is, it's really funny because it makes it seem like you're just saying, No, stop, what are you doing? There we go. It's nice being alive was the corpse fly. Die. More tiny keys. Two tiny keys? I am living it up with tiny keys. Damn it. No one has ever had as much tiny keys as I have right now. I don't think there's a reason to fight those guys. Because I think they'll just drop more tiny keys. <laughs> I can fight this one. I just realized I'm not even fighting the skeletons, I'm fighting the bat. Yep. Gotta stab the bat a little. It, it happens. I mean... I mean, the bat is the hardest thing to hit right now. The skeletons are just skeletons. I can handle a skeleton. It's like asking me, can I handle a person with no skin? Yes. Can easily take down a skeleton. A magic skeleton is maybe a different uh, kind of situation. <laughs> they are tall as hell. I, I don't know who are they skeletons of. <laughs> I mean, there's that really tall race of dudes. Maybe they're one of their skeletons. But I don't think they're human. They're probably like Elzen. Maybe gigantic Elzen. Elf people that are here. Maybe. That are taller than people. Yeah. I could see that. Or they just get bones just get bigger over time. I've, that's how dinosaurs <laughs> are actually really small. But it's been so long. The, 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 the dinosaurs never stop growing their bones. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious if that was the plot to us at the end, where all of dinosaur scientists have to come together and come to terms with actually the T Rex was extremely small. <laughs> it would be such a sad day because they already get so much shit for ruining how T Rexes look nowadays. We could grow forever, but our, but our skin is too weak. He's right. They're right. 
We are if only our skin wasn't holding us back. <laughs> These skeletons knows what's up. They can take so many uppercutting uh, lancer blows, it's not even funny. Jump on them. Oh, there's the yellow key. Let's go. Find the bloody parchment. Is that a statement, or is it actually just a bloody parchment? Uh, did you get the bloody parchment off the floor in the boss room? No, nah, we're gonna have to go find him right now. We just got the yellow- oh, I just got the yellow key. Oh, okay. You went the long way back around. Did I? There was, no, there was no way. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a thing you walk up the one side and jump off. Hold up, now let me check it. I missed this locked door somehow. Is there something cool in here? There is! I could miss out on all this sick stuff, Zen. There could be bone armor in here. I don't know. Manor Beret? Can I put that on now? No, I can't. I'm almost guaranteed I can't. Damn. Magic only. They hate to see a Dragoon for our thriving, Zen. They f they, they're they scared of us because we're able to taste the air while they have to stay on the, flo on the floor. Like heathens. Oh, I could just go through that? I didn't even realize. It's one-sided, right? Yeah. You just run up it and jump off. Well, don't I feel silly. Carnation door. Open the door. Who wants a piece of me? Even bigger skeleton in the manor jester. That one's been dead for a long time. Yeah, that's why he's a, he's gone to a new rank of yeah, skeleton. Yeah, he's even bigger now. <laughs> I would love to see that written in a monster compendium. He's been dead so long. <laughs> he's even bigger now than expected. Should be fun. My dudes are okay, right? They can handle that skeleton. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. As I uh, non-stop backshot this fucking imp guy. At least they interesting phrasing right there. <laughs> Listen, man, it's to it's ten. I've lost whatever form of in inhibitors that I had in my language. You you better explain what I'm doing as I thrust behind this manor jester. Well, it's not really thrusting. It's really more uppercutting. No, it's thrusting. Um, that's a thrust for sure. That's a thrust. This is an uppercut. Okay, fair. See, at the end, only at the end did they go like, "Who's doing that?" <laughs> Stop. Okay, yeah, we were supposed to kill the skeleton first. <laughs> My bad, everyone. I'm not sure it matters, they're both dead. Can I kick the skeleton? I want everyone to know I leveled up. Thank you. Now we have to fight Lady Amadala. Lady Amadine. Let's go with the flow everyone I'm expecting gigantic woman are we back to where we started I guess we just keep yeah, going and go up the stairs yeah take that bloody parchment and then turn right and then go in there kill that dude right there let's get this guy first this is the manor sentry What's the big eyeball guy from the beginning? Yep. 
I would hate to live life as a giant eyeball man. Seems like it'd be so easy, like Rocky Suezo from Monster Rancher. I would never want to be that kind of life. <laughs> yeah, that sounds rough. There you go. Now he opens the door for you. Madam, they're beating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> they're kicking the shit out of me, please. Wake up. Who's beating the shit out of my eye goblin thing? <laughs> All right. Like what you're going putting down here, lady. Let's talk. Yeah, I'm just running in. What's she gonna do to me? She been asleep most of her life. I come from the streets. The streets of New Gradinia. <laughs> but listen, I'm not I'm not here to say I'm a good DPS. I'm here to say, holy shit, I should run away or kill that. Oh. Uh, for some reason, I could not target that guy. <laughs> Did they give her the, the the horror movie shock sound effect? Oh, these little headmistress ladies are just little tiny hers. Yep. Oh, uh oh. No, that's fine. Yeah, throw that spear. Yeah, now I'm doing it. Now we're cooking with gas. Summon something else? Are you up to some funky business, ma'am? Oh, you are. Turn around, yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around. That, mean, that means don't look at it. Well, everyone passed that but me. So if I look into the eye, it's bad? Yeah, when you see a glowing eye like that, it means look away. Got you, got you, okay. I did not know. I'm already using my range DPS. <laughs> I'm an amazing DPS. It's only because I'm not supposed to know how I'm doing most Oh god, don't look. You don't have to run away, just don't look. <laughs> Put yourself in the corner. <laughs> it's fine. Listen. It's late. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that through. <laughs> She does a little monster yell, which means it's probably time for something funky to go down. Alright, just don't look. Alright, simple enough. Boom! Solved it. Take my thrusting, lady. And jumping. Close range jumps, the best kind. Listen, jumping is jumping, right? It's true, it does a lot of damage. Actually, can I still fight when I'm not like. Nope, if you hit a button to attack, you'll turn around. Apparently not, because I'm doing my auto attack. Uh... You'll do your auto attack, but that's all. Fair enough. Jump! All right, this is it. She's down. Victory. Take that. I hate to take down a goth lady, but you were abusing your power by summoning eyeballs. <laughs> okay. There on the treasure will only ever be this one right here, right? Okay, charred axe. I do not have an axe man. Actually, I do have an axe man, but not at the moment. I don't know, she was just chilling at home. It does feel kind of bad that she was chilling at home and we just kind of like ran up on her. Darkness is taking up root within these halls. Uh huh. Oh, this is the mass man. This guy over here. There's two of them? Organization 13 looking ass. A 
I'm gonna have to fight these guys too. No, no. Okay, no. They're just here to kind of admire me for a bit. Yeah, they just want to like hang out, talk their shit. I feel like I would have been a little bit more intimidating if I did not look like a little bit of a goober. You know, compared to them, I, I'm not dressing as cool. They have, like, cloaks and shit. Whoa, what's going on up there? <laughs> I'm sure they're fine without me. I don't need the help. Uh, Gradinia... Yeah, he's just kind of getting his ass kicked over there. Ah, he's alright. He's fine. He's fine? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of doing alright. He's not doing too bad. I sure do oh, wish some adventure right, man, would come over here and help. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sure wish I wasn't doing this all alone. Especially when that floating eye jumped him. He's like, you're not even a part of the fate. What's going on here? Oh, that's okay. That dude who just showed up in a car is here to save the day. Yeah, he's got it. My work here is done. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, man. I gotta dip. I gotta yeah, uh, go I, my house trying to go to bed. Yeah. So I'll let him sleep. Yeah, that's that's it for me. I was gonna say, that's, that's a good place to end it. I can fulfill it anywhere and it can start right here. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us for the stream. It was fun. You just came to hang around a bit and just play and get some stuff done that I needed to get done <laughs> before I get crazy lost to work and other stuff. So, thank you for joining us. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.